Welcome to the Fantasy Audiobook. Pirates, my talent hangs everything. Chapter 41. All the students who rushed up directly gave Ryester a punch and a kick. No one persisted in his hand. At this time, they were all lying on the ground and wailing, but the only one was still standing. The five of them also showed sympathy on their faces. Who still doesn't accept it now? Served, we took it, instructor. Their title has changed from a little devil to an instructor, which shows that they have recognized Lister. Ah, very good. It was supposed to let you rest for a day before training, but now you should also know the situation on the sea. There is not much time left for Marine, so the training starts now. Now, everyone runs around the playground for 50 times. Circle, time, half an hour. Quote. A lap is about 400 meters, half an hour is already very abundant for these elite students. Yes, instructor, even if they were punched and kicked, it was indeed as Rist said, that there was not much time left for them, otherwise Zephyr Admiral would not be able to form two elite classes. The training positions of the two elite classes are not in the same place, so Rist does not know what the students selected by master is, but the most elite group in the ordinary class is here. If they fail in the competition a month later if so, there is really no qualification to be the instructor of these people. Soon, the 50 laps were over. Although some people were exhausted, they were dressed coarsely, bent over and supported their knees to support their bodies, and some lay down directly and looked at the sky. My head is a little dizzy. Very well, everything was completed within the stipulated time. Wrist applauded them and nodded in satisfaction. Ten minutes of rest, ten minutes later, call you one of the six principles of finger pistol. Hearing this, the students who were already exhausted instantly became full of energy, just like chicken blood. Report to instructor, we have rested. The student who was most exhausted and lying on the ground was the first to speak. What is their purpose in coming to the elite class is to become stronger, and learning marine six styles is one of their goals. Yeah, instructor, we can learn now. The rest of the students also stood straight in front of wrist. Although their bodies were soaked and sweaty, their eyes were very firm. Seeing this scene, Rist's heart was very pleased. Although there are indeed many assholes in Marine, at least the twenty people in front of him are all simple people who Yishin wants to punish and punish evil. They have not been contaminated by the world. Their current idea is very simple, become stronger, catch pirates, and protect ordinary people. Very well, if that's the case, then I will teach you the principles of finger pistol first. I think some of you already know about Marine Six Styles, and Finger Pistol is the simplest of the six styles I think. The power of the whole body is concentrated on the index finger, and the power of the fingertip can easily penetrate the human body with a blow released between the hardened fingers of the electric light flint, so it is called Finger Pistol. Quote. Afterwards, Lister gave a demonstration directly in front of everyone. All of a sudden, everyone saw a surge of energy in the air when Lister used Finger Pistol. Everyone was a little dumbfounded, this was the first time they saw Finger Pistol. Some people even thought that if Ryester taught them with Finger Pistol just now, they would still be able to afford it. However, Finger Pistol also has a drawback, that is, the attack range is short. However, there has been a solution to this shortcoming, which is Finger Pistol's extended move, which is to fly Finger Pistol. Quote, Ryester used Finger Pistol again in front of everyone, but this time everyone clearly saw that an air bomb flew out of Ryester's fingertips and a finger appeared directly on the far wall. A light hole of smooth size. At this moment, everyone lost their voices, and I didn't expect Finger Pistol to have such a powerful application. Of course, this is something you can't get rid of temporarily. What you need to do now is to learn Finger Pistol. Yes, instructor. The voices of all the students were very passionate. When they think that they are about to learn such a powerful move, their hearts are thrilled. Okay, prepare for two finger push-ups. Only use your index fingers to do it. Ability people cannot use Devil Fruit's abilities. The last sentence, Lister naturally said to Brally. Yes, instructor. Hearing that Lister cared about him so much, Brally felt that he was the right person. But Rist didn't think so much. He just didn't want Blaley to steal and skid, and using devil fruit would not serve the purpose of exercise. Soon, one day passed. Although it was only one day, Lister was recognized and admired by everyone. When night fell, 
everyone returned to the dormitory, but just when Ryester wanted to go back, Zephyr came here and found Ryester. Master, I was about to go back, I didn't expect you to come. Our father hasn't tried a match for a long time, right? Yes, master, it's been more than two years. Ryester still remembers that the last time he competed with Zephyr, he was defeated almost instantaneously. Although he insisted on two moves, they were the result of Zephyr's mercy. Your strength has grown rapidly in the past two years, and now even I don't know how far your strength has reached. So does Master want to compete with me? Well, I'll guide you by the way. Although Ryester's combat skills should no longer be inferior to Zephyr, or even stronger than Zephyr, Ryester's combat experience is far incomparable. Good. Ryester's eyes lit up, and he agreed instantly. Although he was unable to use any Devil Fruit's abilities in the battle, he had learned the swordsmanship of Armament Hockey and Golden Lion. However, Armament Hockey is still very weak. After all, the strength of Armament Hockey is directly related to physical fitness, use skills, and the amount of storage. Even if he and Zephyr's Armament Hockey are at the same level of skill and intensity, but his physical fitness is not as good as Zephyr, every collision will definitely fall into the wind. But even if Armament Hockey can't, he still has swordsmanship at the level of a great swordsman. Since watching the Battle of Golden Lion, he has learned Golden Lion's moves, and his understanding of Kendo has grown by leaps and bounds. I have to say that his abilities are indeed somewhat perverted. When Golden Lion uses sword moves, Wrist also fully accepts Golden Lion's perception of Kendo. But from Garp's body, Ryester only copied Armament Hockey, which shows that Garp's battles rely entirely on Armament Hockey's battles, relying on brute force battles, without any artistic conception and skills at all. It's also very important to fight first to be strong, and then to suffer. Fighting with Zephyr's level of power is also very important. Shave. Wrist's figure came directly in front of Zephyr, the Fist Mountain artistic conception covered armament hockey. Hockey, if that's the case, I can't hide it anymore. Seeing Zephyr also punched in an instant, the two fists covering armament hockey collided, and the resulting air wave directly set off a burst of dust around, but before a stalemate, Lister was knocked out. Reluctantly stabilized his figure in the air, and landed safely. So strong. List was a little frightened, but he had already known that this would be the result. His current hockey's strength is about the same as Garp's, but he has very little difference in quantity, and his physique is much worse than Zephyr, so it's normal to get knocked into the air. Did you copy Garp's hockey? At the moment of the fight, Zephyr sensed it. There are only a handful of people in this world who are stronger than his hockey, and the hockey just now is stronger than his master's hockey, Golden Lion's hockey is not as good as him, Sengoku's hockey is not him, only Garp's hockey is better than him. Even the posture is exactly the same as Garp's fighting posture. If your physical fitness is up to Garp's, the outcome of this battle is really unpredictable. Although Zephyr didn't want to admit it, his strength was indeed worse than Garp. The strength of Golden Lion relies on swordsmanship and lion fruit, and the strength of Sengoku relies on the fruit of the Big Buddha, not purely on hockey. Master, it is really difficult to defeat you, but I will not give up. After that, Ryester drew out the saber from his waist. It was just an ordinary marine saber, not a famous sword. After all, he hadn't encountered a famous sword. Very well, come on, Lister, try to beat me. Slash wave. Wrist directly cleaved a sword aura. The sharpness of the sword aura and the power of the sword aura were exactly the same as those used by Golden Lion. This sword aura. Seeing this oncoming sword aura, Zephyr's expression became serious, just like Garp and Roger are old enemies, Sengoku and Whitebeard are old enemies, he and Golden Lion are also old enemies, and the two have fought the most times. So for this sword energy, he can be said to be the most familiar except Golden Lion thought. I saw that Zephyr's right hand was covered with the mighty armament hockey, and with a direct punch, the sword energy was shattered in an instant. But in the next second, Wrist had already rushed towards Zephyr at an extremely fast speed, because he knew that that move would not have much effect on Zephyr at all. When Ryester's sword touched Zephyr's fist, there was a crashing sound like steel. Golden Lion's Swordsmanship You really learned the essence of Shiki's swordsmanship. But what is your own way of fighting? Quote, what? Hearing this question from Zephyr, List was stunned. But it was just a moment of stunner, 
and gave Zephyr a chance to force his fist again, although this time he didn't knock wrist into the air, he also slid back more than 10 meters. Luke's and sword, Thorn, I saw that wrist had already set up the next position, with a speed like a bolt of lightning, pointing straight to Zephyr's vitals. In the battle between the two of them, Zephyr could keep his hand, but he could not keep his hand. That move of Adjutant Garp, this kind of fast attack is the last thing Zephyr wants to deal with, because what he is good at is not speed, so in the face of this trick, Zephyr can only protect his body and wrap his whole body with the five-color hockey. Is it only the power of John Al? It is exactly the same as I thought. Through physical pain, Zephyr knew that the power of Ryester's use of this trick was only at the level of a swordsman. Did not show the sword intent of the Golden Lion great swordsman at all. Afterwards, Zephyr's body suddenly burst into an aura, once again forcing Lister to fly out. Is your strength the only way, Lister? Could it be that all you know are the moves of others? Quote. Zephyr yelled, then swung his iron fist and rushed towards Lister. Upon seeing this, Lister hurriedly placed the sword in front of him and wrapped it around armament hockey. The powerful force immediately knocked Lister away. It directly knocked over several walls. Fortunately, the Marine Academy was built in a sparsely populated place. Otherwise, they would really disturb the people if they were still there. I'll go, this little hand is too cruel. Even with the sword used for defense, the powerful impact made Wrist feel that his body seemed to be scattered. I said, there is a problem with your fighting style. If you have any questions, wait until the battle is over, master. Wrist was also a little angry. He didn't expect that he, who inherited the Golden Lion swordsmanship, would be beaten by Zephyr. Lion, Thousand Slice Valley. Although it's just a sword, it can't use the full strength of this sword move, but its power is several times that of Slash Wave. Wrist, your fighting style doesn't have your own style at all, just blindly imitating, blindly copying, it is absolutely impossible to become the strongest. Facing the oncoming sword auras, Zephyr didn't even hide, and smashed a sword aura with one punch. But in the end, Zephyr's hands were also bloody, the sword hero's slash was not so easy to take. Wrist, if you can't break through, you will never surpass them and become the strongest. Zephyr arrived directly in front of Wrist, and even his observation hockey didn't notice it. With such a short distance eruption, Zephyr was able to reach a very fast speed. Six styles, six king's spear. Iron body, armed. Zephyr's movement speed this time was too fast. Even if Ryester wanted to swing his knife, it was too late. The powerful attack directly attacked Ryester's body. Even though Ryester used a double defense, he still vomited a mouthful of blood. When flying backwards, they are already passively elementalized, turning into a golden light, and they are directly away from Zephyr, avoiding contact with the ground or the wall to cause secondary damage. Master, I lost. After recovering his figure, Wrist could see two obvious fist marks on his abdomen, and blood was flowing out of his mouth Kakuzu. Wrist, although you have devil fruit, you also have the same talent that cannot be ignored. You need to turn the abilities you have gained into your own, rather than just imitating others. You are Lister, you are not Golden Lion, you are not Garp, and you are not me. You are yourself, you have to have your own fighting style and moves. Quote. Hearing what Zephyr said, Ryester's mind suddenly became interesting. He always felt like he was missing something recently, and now this missing thing seems to have been found. The next day, when Ryester woke up in bed, his whole body was sore, as if his bones were broken, and even today's class could not be taken, so he could only let the master take it for him. So when the students who originally belonged to List saw Zephyr Admiral, they all showed surprised expressions. I will replace Ryester in this class today. At this time, there are already 40 students standing here, with the remaining elites selected by Zephyr Admiral from the ordinary class yesterday. Report. Say, Mr. Zephyr, what happened to the instructor of Lister? Yesterday, Rhodes, who was the hardest to be taught by Lister, asked. He was beaten, and he won't be able to get out of bed today. Zephyr said in a flat tone, perhaps it was because he was the murderer that he could be so flat. Ms. Zephyr, who beat him, we want to avenge the Ryester instructor. Yeah, teacher Zephyr, you tell us who fought, we must avenge the instructor of Lister. After a day of getting along yesterday, 
they have already identified with Lister very much, and have truly regarded Lister as their instructor in their hearts. For them, Lister can only be defeated by them. Seeing the expressions of the same hatred of the little ghosts in front of him, Zephyr's face instantly became gloomy, getting darker and darker. It was me who fought, why, do you guys want to come to me for revenge? Hearing this sentence, those clamors just stopped abruptly, as if it had never happened before. Some people were frightened in a cold sweat because of the words they just said. They cleaned up teacher Zephyr and gave them ten guts, but they didn't dare. So they can only silently mourn Ryester in their hearts now. It's not that the students don't help you, it's that the students are incompetent. And Ryester, who was lying on the boat, kept thinking about what Zephyr said to him yesterday. Your fighting style, where is your fighting style? You are not a golden lion, you are not Garp or me, you are just yourself. Rist thought of the hateful expression on Zephyr's face, and his heart felt uncomfortable. Finally, upset, Ryester got out of the bed, picked up the saber next to him, and came to the training ground, waving the most basic moves over and over again. He didn't have anything of his own, whether it was swordsmanship, hockey, or devil fruit, he got all of them from others. It wasn't until he was sweating profusely, that he was sore, and he had no strength to move, that Ryester stopped. He could only use this method to calm himself down. After that, Rist began to stand on the spot, head down, because he was wearing a blindfold, it was impossible to see whether his eyes were open or closed. After the ultimate exhaustion of his body, Lister's brain plunged into ultimate's calmness, as if he was the only person in this place, in the boundless darkness, and all around him were the various abilities he had acquired. Golden Lion's swordsmanship, Bogart's swordsmanship, Zephyr's physical skills, Garp's observation hockey, armament hockey, Rayleigh and Roger's conqueror's hockey, and the abilities of the four devil fruits. Ryester deduced all kinds of moves in his mind over and over again, trying to integrate all these moves, turning all the sword intent of Golden Lion into his own sword intent, and turning the swords of Golden Lion and Bogart into his own, Kendo. In this way, Ryester, who has been standing in place, sometimes bursts out sharp to the ultimate sword intent, and sometimes all of these sword intents are restrained in the body, as if it does not exist, or there is a terrifying aura bursting out of his body. This is only the body. Only those with strong skills can explode the momentum. Soon, even when it was dark, Lister didn't notice, and was immersed in his own world. Zephyr had already stood aside, watching the changes that had taken place in Ryester's body, and revealed a kind of relief in his heart, letting him know that yesterday's lesson was not in vain, it was still very useful. In the end, the body really couldn't hold on, and when he was about to fall, a big warm hand suddenly supported his body. Master, Rist said in a weak voice. He has no physical strength now, and both armament hockey and observation hockey are exhausted. If he wants to recover, he can only fully replenish the energy in the body, and he has had a good rest. It seems you have found what you are missing. Yes, master. Very good. Although Ryester could not see the expression on Zephyr's face now, through the strength of the hands that assisted his body, Ryester could still feel Zephyr's excitement. After dinner, take a good rest, tomorrow I will be able to help you substitute lessons, those little boys still miss you today. Yes, master. There is another reason why Zephyr let Ryester serve as the instructor of the elite class, that is, if you can teach all of what you have learned to others, it means that you have already mastered this thing. Let Lister be the instructor, it is also a kind of experience for Lister. In a blink of an eye, time has passed for two years again. In these two years, Ryester has been living a 2.1 line life almost all the time. The two places of college and home are constantly wandering. Except for the Marine Academy personnel, Naval Headquarters almost forgot about him. However, in the past two years, Lister's strength has changed drastically compared to before. If he was a worm two years ago, he is now a dragon. Except that Devil Fruit's abilities could not be exposed and had not been trained, all the other abilities had already been integrated, or in other words, the abilities that he copied all belonged to him. Even if the things that are fighting are the moves of others, they have their own style. Of course, this is also inseparable from Zephyr's two years of hard work. Lister will be beaten almost every month to speed up Lister's evolution. As List became stronger, those students were also becoming stronger. Almost every month in the competition, the elite class B led by Rist is the winner, 
and there are also reasons why the elite class B is generally talented if the elite class A is generally good. And Rist was a little doubtful that if he was beaten so badly once a month, was it Zephyr's revenge against him, public revenge? It was in revenge that the class led by Lister defeated his class. Due to Roger's pirate era, the current situation on the sea has become more and more chaotic. Almost every day there will be new pirate groups. Although most of them are a group of weak people, they cannot stand their strength. How much? Even if Marine wants to capture them into Impel Down, he still has more than enough energy, so Marine urgently needs to strengthen his forces. This has also led to a significant reduction in the graduation cycle of Marine Academy students. Today is a more important day for the students of the elite class, because today is their graduation assessment, and the content of the assessment is to solve a pirate group with a total bounty of more than 300 million. This also shows that they are likely to be facing people with bounties of over 100 million. Seeing the growth of his students in the past two years, Rist felt very proud. These youthful youths were brought out by him hand in hand. They have undergone earth-shaking changes from two years ago. Not only is the body stronger, but the look in his eyes also reveals a sense of confidence. Seeing the appearance of these people in front of him, Lister also nodded in satisfaction. This is the Marine in his mind. At the beginning, there were thorns among the twenty Marines, such as the Rhodes, but they were still docile by wrist. On the contrary, apart from Brally, they belong to Rhodes and Rhodes. His relationship is the best. Of course, the relationship between the other 18 people and Lister is not bad, but in addition to the feelings between friends, they also respect and fear Lister. Every month, Lister arranges for him to have a friendly exchange with his 20 students. The rules are the same as at the beginning. As long as he can make Lister take a step back, he will lose. But no matter how strong they became in the past two years, they were all solved with one punch and kick by Lister. Even though they have mastered the two or three styles of Marine Six styles, they are still very useful in front of Lister. No. Even Rhodes, the strongest among them, couldn't hold Lister's punch after using Iron Body's defense. Today is a very important day for you. Ryester stood in front of these 20 students and said that after they graduate, they will be elite Marines. Even if they are military ranks, they will start with Ensign. If they are more powerful, it is not impossible to be directly named a school-level officer. When Ryester said this, everyone's heart was full of excitement, because they all knew what they were going to face today. Starting from today, your graduation assessment will begin. You will participate in the graduation assessment together with 60 ordinary class students, and the goal of the assessment is to solve a total reward of more than 300 million without me. Pirates after two years of development in the Great Pirate Era, a single pirate with a bounty of more than 100 million has not increased much, but the group of pirates with a total bounty of more than 100 million has grown a lot, if they are allowed to face the bounty of 100 million the pirate may not really be the opponent's opponent, but a bounty of tens of millions is still possible. Do you have the confidence to complete it? Have. Everyone's eyes are full of confidence, and their tone is very loud. But I want to warn you in advance that this assessment is very likely to have death. Even if I am there, the safety of all of your lives cannot be guaranteed. Therefore, if some of you want to withdraw now, there is still time. After saying this, Rist scanned the expressions of the twenty people and found that their faces did not change at all. This does not mean that they are not afraid of death, but at least it shows that they dare to face death. Very well, let's board the ship. Soon. Twenty people boarded the warship in neat steps, waiting for the remaining sixty ordinary class students to arrive before they could set off. Now, even though Rist looks like the vice president instructor of the Marine Academy, his rank is only below Zephyr, but his true identity is still a Marine Academy student. It stands to reason that he is not qualified to lead a warship alone. If you want to lead a warship by yourself, at least you have to be a colonel. But who makes Lister a relationship householder, and a relationship householder with a strong strength in itself? Now in the entire naval headquarters, apart from Zephyr, no one knows the true strength of Lister. But before this assessment, Zephyr had assured Kong that Ryester had the strength to lead a warship, and this allowed Kong to open the back door. Soon, all the sixty members of the ordinary class arrived. I have to say that there is a big gap between the ordinary class and the elite class. Although their number is three times more than that of the elite class, they have the momentum is much weaker than the elite class. 
It is estimated that they are sergeant level officers after graduation. After all, they graduated after a systematic study, and they also have some basic leadership skills, so they must not be allowed to be ordinary soldiers. Reporting to instructor, the general class should have 60 students, but the number is actually 60. The report is complete. A man who seemed to be the squad leader said to Lister in a military salute. Okay, let's get on the boat. Although Ryester is relatively young, they did not underestimate him because of Ryester's age. After all, in the past two years, Ryester is still very prestigious in Marine Academy. It's under Zephyr. Yes, instructor. Among these students, there are also people who are professionally studying sailors, so there is no need for Ryester to worry about some situations at sea. When the warship was traveling, Ryester happened to encounter the warship that Zephyr led the marine appraisal, and the configuration was the same as Ryester's. It is composed of his elite class students plus 60 students from the ordinary class. Master, Rist shouted, yeah, Zephyr nodded coldly, very much in line with the aura of his sunglasses. To be honest, I have been with Zephyr for so many years, and Ryester hasn't really seen what Zephyr looked like when he took off his sunglasses. Rist, they will leave it to you, and we must let them return safely. Zephyr said with a serious face, they are all Marine's future. After this batch of Marine graduates, the pressure on Marine can be greatly reduced. After all, Marine with 40 masters in six styles can still come in handy. Yes, master, I will definitely bring them back safely, how I take them out, and how I will bring them back. Although these students are older than Lister, they were taught by Lister himself after all. It is not an exaggeration to say that they are his brothers or even children. So Rist will definitely not let them have an accident. Good. Zephyr nodded in satisfaction. With his words, Zephyr was relieved. After all, Ryester's current strength is something that even he is willing to encounter now. Before leaving naval headquarters, they all had an exact goal. Their target pirate group was called the Blood Wolf Pirate Group. Captain Blood Wolf Fran offered a reward of 77 million yuan, which is currently considered to be on the Grand Line. A not low bounty. The other second hands and third hands are added together in bits and pieces, and it is almost 300 million or so, which can be regarded as their mission goals. Before they set off, they learned from Marine's intelligence office that the Blood Wolf Pirates is now on Forces Island, which is located in the first half of the Grand Line and is close to the Sabayati Archipelago. So it didn't take long for Ryester to find them. Taking the pointer of Forces Island from naval headquarters, the warship embarked on the journey to Forces Island. However, along the way, all the students had a very spiritual expression, with two very strong eyes. Brightly alert to the surrounding sea. They are now eager to meet the pirates in their hearts, and a little afraid of encountering the pirates. Because they are marines, it is their duty to eliminate pirates now, but if they encounter a pirate, it means that a battle has occurred. If a battle occurs, it is very likely to be injured or even killed. Instructor, don't you say that there are a lot of pirates in the sea? How come I haven't seen any of them? Rhodes said with a proud face. Rist really didn't understand what he was proud of. Is he proud of his identity as Marine? At the same time, he also exudes a sense of war, and it seems that he especially wants to try the results of his training for the past two years. Nonsense, this place is located near naval headquarters, which pirate is as big as guts, dare to hang around in this place. Wrist gave him a helpless look, lying on the chair, basking in the sun, turning over and choosing a more comfortable position. Instructor, you are too lazy, if the pirates see you like this, they won't be afraid of us at all. Seeing Lister's behavior and the expression of enjoyment, Rhodes said helplessly. I don't have the tall physique of yours. Even if I have a serious expression on my face, the pirate will not be afraid of me. Ah, what this said made Rhodes somewhat speechless, but it was indeed the case. Rist seemed to be the thinnest among the entire warship, and would subconsciously be considered the weakest one. Report to instructor, a pirate ship appeared on the right front, what should we do? At this moment, a panicked and somewhat excited voice suddenly rang in the ears of all marines of this warship. Great, I finally met the pirate ship. The situation on everyone's faces is different. Some people's faces are full of tension and excitement, and some people's faces are full of timidity and fear. What pirate group is it? The report instructor is the big sword pirates group 
with a total bounty of about 100 million baileys, and its captain, Big Sword Gleason, has a reward of 55 million. The other crew members together are only about 40 million. The observer said with a serious face, as the observer on the warship, he must always master the information of various pirates. Is it only 55 million? Rhodes said with a pity on his face. It's only 100 million. Although you can't meet your mission standards, you are now quasi-marine. You can't just sit idly by when you encounter a pirate. If you set off toward the pirate ship, it's a practice for you. Yes, instructor. If you can't even solve this rubbish pirate group, you'd better pack up and go home to farm. Marine industry is not for you. Don't worry, elder brother, the pirates with a reward of 50 million yuan, we're here to catch them. Brawley said with a confident face that now his devil fruit has been used very skillfully. After all, he has the teachings of Ryester, and he is the only person who knows that Ryester has the ability of devil fruit. And Brawley just considered Lister's devil fruit, which is similar to him. Then I wish you success. Rist smiled. He had just used observation hockey to perceive the opponent's strength. The strength is really not very strong. It can be said that it is easy to solve the pirate group with their current strength. But if they play abnormally, the result will be difficult to predict. After all, this is their first battle, and it can also be said that they are about to face their first murder. Although the observer of the pirate ship was not as good as the student on the warship, when the warship got closer and closer, they also discovered the existence of the warship. Captain, a warship was found in front of our pirate regiment. The observer on the pirate ship shouted nervously. What? How did Marine find us? Broadsword Gleason also said nervously. They also knew the configuration of a warship, especially the Marine of the Grand Line, which was different from the Marine they encountered in the Four Seas. But, Captain, something is wrong with those pirates. The observer took a closer look again. Why not? Gleason was a little confused by what he observed. Is there anything wrong with Marine? Captain, these marines' clothes are wrong, they don't seem to be regular soldiers. What, let me see. Gleason snatched the telescope in the observer's hand and observed it carefully. It was indeed different from marines' clothes. Little ones, rush to me towards that warship. Gleason seemed to have thought of something, and said excitedly. Captain, you don't want to fight the front of the warship with hard steel, we can't beat it. A pirate said nervously and fearfully, his tone even sounded pleading. Ha ha ha, don't worry, if it is an ordinary marine warship, we are indeed avoiding three points, but this is only the warship of marine school students, we naturally don't need to avoid it, and rush up to let them know that we are the pirates of the great sword. It's amazing, it's estimated to have killed us, and my bounty will be even higher. This is for their own bounty, for the sake of their own face, the guy who cannot even have his life, the bounty on the grand line represents a person's face. Gleason had never thought about how they would face Marine chasing after killing this group of Marines. But they stretched out their hands wrong. The ship was not ordinary Marine students, but Marine elite students. If they were more proficient in combat experience, the master would treat them in two ways and treat the pirates with tens of millions of bounty. There are no problems. Yo roar, that group of pirates not only didn't run when they met us, but they also came to meet us. It seems that these pirates are really rampant. Rhodes said disdainfully. The brows under Ryester's mask were also twisted together. He did not expect that the first reaction of the group of pirates when they met them was not to run, but to greet them directly, and they had begun to fire cannonballs at them, which was alive. The provocation against them. Fortunately, the opponent's shooter was not very accurate, and coupled with the flexible positioning of the warship's helmsman, none of these shells hit the warship. Accelerate. I want to see in the end, what kind of pirate dared to be so prestigious. Yes, instructor. Under Ryester's order, the speed of the warship was improved, and it quickly reached the front of the pirate ship. The artillery shells that attacked their warship Ryester had not been shot by the students on the pirate ship. It was solved, of course, it was the students of the elite class who made the shot. Now, the gap between the elite class and the ordinary class has come out. When facing those shells, most ordinary class members showed panic and fear, while the elite class was calm and excited. Under the leadership of Rhodes and Brawley, these shells did not harm the warship at all. The group of pirates quickly noticed Rist, who was standing at the forefront. 
Ha ha ha, are you kid the commander of this warship? Marine is really no one. Chris noticed List at a glance, and laughed at everyone on the warship. Don't let them live, understand. Rist was also a little angry with Chris' provocation. If it weren't for the experience of his students, these people would be killed instantly by him. Yes, instructor. Ha ha ha, don't let us live yet, I will keep you little devil from seeing the sun tomorrow. Little ones, give it to me. Quote, Rist naturally wouldn't let the battlefield be on his own warship. If the warship were destroyed, he would not be able to afford it. So under Ryester's order, all these marines jumped onto the pirate ship, and all the pirates they encountered were thrown down, but they didn't kill them, they just stunned the other party, passed. Perceiving this scene, Rist frowned. Their battle was indeed very good, but it was too kind. Even Rhodes and Brawley did not kill them. As for the marine of the ordinary class, after competing with ordinary pirates for a few rounds, they were able to overturn them, but their lack of combat experience made them unable to fully display their combat power in this battle. There are even mistakes that shouldn't be made in battle. Some people are injured because of carelessness, while others are almost killed because of carelessness. In the end, it was because a finger pistol of Ristal shot and killed the pirate and saved the student's life. This was also the first person to die in this battle, and it was from Lister's hand. Seeing this scene, all marine students were dumbfounded. Only the pirates didn't feel anything. After all, dead people are already commonplace for them. When the dead appear, new people will join. You guys really disappointed me too much. Although the battle was not over yet, Ryester's voice immediately stopped fighting. The voice seemed to be full of majesty, making the pirates listen to Ryester's words unconsciously. Do you think that fighting is playing a house? Rist said angrily, jumped directly onto the pirate ship, and blasted through the body of a pirate with a punch. Be merciful to the pirates, do you deserve to be called Marine? While speaking, Lister tackled another pirate, and these pirates seemed to be suppressed by Lister's aura, without any resistance, or the speed of Lister's shot made them simply unable to react. Marine who has never killed a pirate, you can't call it a qualified Marine. This sentence immediately made everyone ashamed. You are back on the warship. I will show you how Marine killed the pirates. Sorry, instructor, we knew we were wrong, so let us have another chance. Rhodes said with a face of shame. Yes, brother, we will not show mercy to the pirates this time. Brawley also said hurriedly. The other elite students also showed the same expression. No, you go back to the warship first. This is the last lesson I want to teach you, how marines should face the pirates. This is an order. Yes, instructor. All the students said uniformly, as if they had turned a blind eye to the pirate who was fighting just now. Seeing this group of marines retreating to the warship, Chris shouted immediately. Hey, you marines, when our pirate ship is, do you come and leave if you want? He was also suppressed by Lister's aura just now, and now seeing the group of marines leaving, he finally came back to his senses. Why, do you have an opinion? Lister looked in Chris's direction. No, no, Chris was in a cold sweat. Although he could not see the eyes under Ryester's blindfold, he felt as if he was being stared at by a beast. As long as he dared to say a word, he would be immediately caught in the next second. Was torn apart by the other party. Soon, there was no more marine on the pirate ship. You have shown me carefully how we marines should face the pirates. Yes, the students standing on the warship looked at Lister's back, and instantly felt that the opponent was much taller and stalwart. Using the real pirates to teach the students, Rist should be the first to do so. Remember, you can't be merciful to Marine, because the kindness to the enemy is cruel to ourselves. While speaking, List also moved his hands, very fast, like a phantom that shuttled between the pirates. Every time a pirate passed by, a pirate died. Finally, the gang of pirates finally recovered before death. Kill him, or we will die. All the pirates realized what kind of person the little demon they laughed at at first was. But even if they recovered, even if they had taken the lead in defense, they still couldn't stop Ryester's attack. Soon, Captain Chris was left alone on the pirate ship. You're called Chris, aren't you? Yes, my lord. At this time, after seeing Lister's strength, Chris was completely persuaded. Now as long as he can survive, let him do anything. Our two names are only one word apart, but why is there such a big gap between the two of us? 
Afterwards, Lister turned his gaze to the students and said with a serious expression to them, Have you learned now, the content of the last lesson? Learned, both the elite class and the ordinary class students all said in unison. They have seen the fierceness of the battle, bloodshed, and sacrifice are the most normal. In the battle, the only thing that is not needed is the mercy of the subordinates. There are flaws, Chris looked at wrist with his back to him, and suddenly a gleam of light flashed in his eyes. He raised the two and a half meter machete next to him and slashed directly at wrist. Instructor, be careful, seeing Chris' actions, all the students said in a panic. They didn't expect this Chris to be so despicable, taking advantage of the danger. Sure enough, the pirate will not have a long memory. Wrist's hand made a fist and wrapped around armament hockey, directly colliding with the machete that was about to fall on his head. With a, bang, the two and a half meter machete broke directly, and Ryester's fist fell on Christ's face without any resistance. The powerful force blasted directly on Chris' head, and he could not wake up again when he rolled his eyes. Seeing that there was nothing wrong with Lister, everyone breathed a sigh of relief. See you, this is the pirate. The kindness to them is not only cruel to our marine, but also cruel to ordinary people. Yes, instructor, we will definitely learn the lesson this time. All the marine students clenched their fists, and their hearts were very restless. The last scene just now shocked them a bit. It was clear that the instructor had already shown mercy to his men, but the other party was not grateful for his tears. Going to kill. Let's go to the Blood Wolf Pirate Group, I hope you won't let me down in the next battle. Yes, instructor, we will definitely complete the task successfully. Now their location is not very far from Forces Island, which is said to be the hometown of a great man, and the name of this island is also named after that person. And it is said that there are many treasures on the island. Of course, most people regard this incident as a legend, and a small number of people take it as true. However, the residents of Forces Island generally have some fighting power. Although not very strong, there is no problem with self-protection. But this time they met a great pirate with a bounty of more than 70 million. Even though they had some strength, they still couldn't see enough in front of the Blood Wolf pirate group. At this time, the residents of Forces Island had been completely tied up by the Blood Wolf pirate group and gathered together. If you are acquainted, give me the treasure of Fulsus quickly, and I can spare your life, otherwise, don't blame us for being rude to you. A sharp-mouthed Huss said that he was very cunning and insidious at first glance, and he was also an unscrupulous person. He was the third in command of the Blood Wolf Pirate Group, Greedy Peter. My lord, we really don't have the treasure of Forsyth that you want here. We are just ordinary people. Where can there be those valuable things? A sturdy middle-aged man showed a bitter look, after all, there was a trace of forbearance and determination in his eyes. No, do you think I'm a fool? Pete pressed a dagger against the middle-aged man's chin. The two next to you are your wife and daughter, right? At this moment, Pete's gaze suddenly fell on the woman and the girl next to him. It has to be said that it is really rare to be able to meet such a beautiful woman on this island. With long golden hair and a fearful expression, it can't help but arouse a sense of protection on the other side's face. But this is only in the eyes of ordinary people. In the eyes of these vicious pirates, this kind of woman is just a tool to satisfy their desires. The more scared and scared the expression on their faces, the more pitiful they are, the more excited they are. In this woman's arms, she was holding a seven or eight year old girl, burying her head in the other's arms, trembling all over her body. It also has golden hair with double ponytails. Although she can't see her face, she has her mother's genetic genes, and she will be a beauty after she wants to come. What do you want to do? Suddenly, the middle-aged man's expression showed anger. Hey hey, we are big pirates, robbing the house, is it not the most normal thing to be robbery? A wretched smile appeared on Pete's face. Seeing such a beauty, his heart is always itching. If it hadn't been for the time, he would have long wanted to give this woman to F.A. rectification on the spot. You guys, we really don't have Fulsus treasure here. Why can't you let us go? The middle-aged man's expression showed a pleading look. No way, who will let your island have the legend of treasures, and even if there are no treasures, you won't lose sight of such a beauty. Pete became more and more satisfied with the blonde-haired beautiful woman. Even after they finished playing, they could sell this woman for a good price. 
The other pirates were also drooling at this woman, their eyes revealed greed, and they all wondered if they would be able to take their turn for a while. Mom, I'm scared, a soft voice rang from the young woman's arms, it was their daughter. Don't be afraid, dad will protect us. Although the expression on her face was horrified, her tone was pretending to be calm while comforting her daughter. Um, the little girl gave a faint hum, her tone was firm, and she seemed to have confidence in her father. Ha ha ha, little girl, your father can't protect himself, and he still counts on him to protect you. Go dreaming. After that, Pete's hand touched the young woman's face. What do you want to do? The middle-aged man made a fierce attack. Even though his body was tied up, he didn't know where the strength came from, and he directly staggered Pete. You guy moves. Pete suddenly looked ruthless, raised the dagger in his hand and swiped it at the man's neck. Seeing this scene, the woman closed her eyes, tears of sorrow flowed from her eyes. The other villagers also closed their eyes and couldn't bear to see this scene. The same is true for that man. In front of death, everyone is scared. Few people can open their eyes to face death. After waiting for a long time, the middle-aged man didn't wait for the pain to hit. He slowly opened his eyes a little nervously, and saw that the pirate who was about to beat him up just now had turned by a coogan and fell down. To the ground. Suddenly, the scene fell into silence, and even the pirates didn't know how the third leader of their pirate group fell. It seems that I came in time. At this moment, a somewhat lazy voice suddenly resounded in everyone's ears. Even the villagers who had closed their eyes heard this voice and opened their eyes, and saw a little demon in marine uniform slowly approaching them, come over. Originally, they were very happy when they saw the appearance of Marine. They thought they could be saved, but when they saw that Marine was already tall, their faces showed disappointment and even desperate, the rescuer who finally waited, turned out to be a kid and a blind man. That's right, it was Ryester who came. When the observer said that he had discovered the island of Forsyth, Rist first used observation hockey to sense the situation on the island, and found that the situation on the island was not optimistic, so he took the first step. The moment he arrived on the island, he discovered that the pirate was planning to attack a villager, so he directly used Conqueror's hockey to stun him. At such a long distance, apart from Conqueror's hockey, he didn't have any means to save the opponent. Marine, when the pirates saw Rist, the first expression on their faces was horror. After all, it could be said that the thief met the soldier, but when they noticed that there was only one person in Marine and he was still a kid, the panic on his face disappeared, replaced by a hideous expression. Their pirate group has lost a lot of troops in Marine's hands. Although they dared not take the initiative to find Marine, they were hit by Marine. Of course, they could not sit still and fight back. Although they don't know what the Marine used to stun the third in command of their pirate group, they don't have any problems as long as they pay attention to it. What a skill. Ha ha ha, kid, are you weaned, come to Marine and start justice. A pirate laughed at Wrist, his tone full of contempt. But Wrist didn't pay attention to this little boy, but instead looked at a man sitting on the fallen tree who said nothing, with a cold expression on his face, and his eyes full of sharpness. Although he has not seen the reward order from the Blood Wolf Pirates, if Wrist guessed right, this person should be the captain of the Blood Wolf Pirates, because here is his most powerful aura. Boy, what shall I ask you? Seeing Ryester neglecting himself, the pirate suddenly became a little embarrassed and angry. Roll, only Ryester answered him, but after hearing this in his ears, he fainted unconsciously. Seeing this scene, everyone's faces showed horror again. Even the captain of the Blood Wolf Pirate Group was full of doubts. He didn't even see how his subordinates passed out, but the only thing we can know is that it was indeed caused by the marine imp. So annoying, Wrist murmured, otherwise, in order to test his students, these guys would have been solved by him in an instant. Among these people, there is almost no one who can block his conqueror's hockey. Even their captain couldn't resist conqueror's hockey in Ryester, and even if he wasn't unconscious, he would lose his fighting power and would be wobbly. You can't run. If you run, my students will have to reselect the target, which is very troublesome. Ryester said, picking his ears. What's the meaning? It means literally, your blood wolf pirate group has become our target, so don't think about running, and don't force me to take action, otherwise, I will be very troubled. As for the villagers who were still tied up there, Wrist did not solve them, because this was also a kind of assessment. 
Instructor, are you okay? At this moment, everyone saw people in marine uniforms flying directly towards them from the air. It was not so much flying, as it was stepping in the air. There were not many people, and there were just 20 people. This scene really shocked the jaws of the pirates. When have they seen such a magnificent scene? 20 flying marines appeared, and finally, they all fell behind wrist, and called instructor to the little ghost in front of them. The assessment has begun, I hope you won't let me down. Yes, instructor. Afterwards, the 20 elite class students rushed directly into the crowd of pirates, and then two elite students went to rescue the hostages. Seeing this scene, Wrist nodded in satisfaction. Soon after, the remaining 60 students from the ordinary class also arrived. Since they did not know Moonwalk, their speed was relatively slow. After arriving here, they quickly joined the battlefield. The ordinary people who were rescued consciously fought next to Lister, because they had seen the strength of Lister just now. This is already the safest place on the entire island. I have to say that they are still very good, clever. This time, Lister has been observing every one of these students. Fortunately, Lister did not disappoint this time. Almost every one of them was killed. As long as it was a pirate who fell on the ground, there was not a single one. Those who can survive, even the two pirates who were stunned by wrist with Conqueror's hockey in the first place are the same. I don't know which student made the knife. And when some students are in danger of life, Wrist will also use Conqueror's Hockey to stun the opponent and then let his students carry out counter kill. Later, they also knew that after there would be no life threatening in this battle, they began to completely let go of themselves. Although they would be injured, which Marine had no scars on his body, the scars on his body were honored by them. Metal, although it will hurt, but it is their journey to get honor. Seeing the more and more courageous students, Wrist showed a satisfied smile on his face. Even the captain of the Blood Wolf Pirate Group, Bulele had fought with him back and forth. The captain is also a demon fruit power, Zone, Red Wolf Fruit. Unlike ordinary wolves, the hair on his body is red. Originally, Rhodes intended to attack the captain of the Blood Wolf Pirates, but he was helpless to be one step ahead of Blair. He could only reluctantly retreat to the second in command of the Blood Wolf Pirates, the evil wolf, Raquel. Although Raquel is the second in command of the Blood Wolf Pirate Group, his strength is not much weaker than that of Blood Wolf Fran, and his bounty is as high as 61 million, which is only about 10 million less than their captain. This Raquel doesn't have Devil Fruit's abilities, but his physical skills are also very powerful, with a pair of special diamond claws, and the way of attack is not the kind of head-on-head, -head, he will make some sneak attacks appropriately. The action should be of the assassin type. As for the other members of the Blood Wolf Pirate Group, Ryester doesn't have to worry about it anymore. When they face Marine's elite students, they don't have any backhand power at all. Finger Pistol, one of the six forms, beat them to tears. Dad called his mother. The current situation in the battlefield is probably a duel between Mumu Fruit and Red Wolf Fruit, and two strong physical skills. Perhaps in terms of skills, Rhodes is indeed inferior to Raquel, but Raquel's Iron Claw attack is of no use to Rhodes at all. When Rhodes is about to be attacked, he will use Iron Body for defense. Although the requirement of each student in the Elite class is to learn at least two of the six forms, Wrist has changed the requirements for them and become more stringent. It is necessary to learn the five forms. In addition to paper arts, everything else must be learned, and in order to achieve his goals, Ryester has been conducting devilish training for them every day for the past two years. This also caused these students to be respectful and afraid of Lister. Because of Lister, their strength can become so strong, but it is also because of Lister that they have received some inhuman treatment in the past two years. But although they all learned the five styles, not all of them are Grandmaster. Most of them can be used, but the power and the effect are not very good. But there is one style. Ryester requires them to be Grandmaster, that is Moonwalk. This is when they are defeated, they can escape at any time. Rhodes is a student of Grandmaster Moonwalk, Iron Body and Finger Pistol. It took two years to be able to use three of the six Grandmaster types. As for Shaving and Tempest Kick, Rhodes can also use them, but not very much, skilled. After all, Rhodes has a good plan for himself. He is a power player, not a speed player. Others can beat him several times, but he only needs to hit the opponent once. What's the matter, big guy, can you just defend? 
When Raquel was attacking, he stretched out his tongue, not knowing why his tongue was so long, he could reach out of his mouth, and he could speak normally without biting his tongue. He sneered at Rhodes without mercy. But Raquel's heart was also very awkward. He felt that he was fighting him not a flesh and blood person, but a piece of steel. His attack on the opponent would only make a ping-pong sound, but there was no scars. No. Seeing Rhodes's defensive posture, Wrist nodded in satisfaction, squatting, bending over, and putting his hands on his chest. This can be said to be the most perfect defensive posture, as long as it is not more powerful than Rhodes several times. The attack would hardly cause damage to Rhodes. Regarding Raquel's mockery, Rhodes's eyes did not waver at all. He also knew that he did not have the advantage in speed, so he could only concentrate all his power on his fist, and then in an instant, he gave the opponent a fatal one, hit. As for the battle between Blair and Fran, Fran has become a werewolf now. She looks like a wolf but can stand on two legs. The figure is also much stronger than before, and the height and weight have increased visible to the naked eye. When Fran used the Devil Fruit ability, Wrist could clearly feel the fear of the villagers behind him. Obviously, they should have seen this situation for the first time. Braley's skin color has turned brown, the color of trees, and his body has undergone tremendous changes. The hair on his head has become green leaves of trees, his body has become a tree trunk, and his fingers have become branches. Although it looks like this fruit is a waste material, it has many special abilities. For example, Bulele's body can grow spikes, just like a cactus, or bloom flowers blooming with poisonous gas, unknowingly, poisoning opponents. This is still the skill that Lister gave to Blaley, because the master had acquired this ability when Lister had been training in the dark. But Mumu Fruit also has one of the biggest shortcomings, that is, they are afraid of fire. Although they can turn their bodies into iron wood, they will not last long if they are in a fire. Although Mumu Fruit is not considered a powerful fruit in Paramesha, if the fruit ability is awakened, it will inevitably become one of the top Paramesha devil fruits. After awakening, you can turn everything around you into trees, so that you can perform the move that Ryester had imagined in his mind. When the tree world descends, even in the vast ocean, you can use this move to make a foothold. The battle is about to end. In the frontal battle, the increase of Mumu fruit is indeed not as strong as that of the red wolf fruit. It only improves some defense and attack abilities. However, using the special abilities of Marine Six Styles and Mumu fruit, Bulele can also follow Fran dealt with it. And the reason Ryester said this is because in the induction of his observation hockey, a small flower suddenly grew on the top of Blaley's green leaves, and it was still a coquettish little purple flower. Hidden in the middle of a dense green leaf, if you don't look carefully, you can't find it at all. And even if it is discovered, no one will care, because it is normal for a small flower to appear in a bunch of green leaves. But Wrist knew that the real purpose of the little flower was to release a toxin that paralyzed the nerves. During the battle, the opponent would unknowingly inhale this toxin into the body. I have to say that this skill is indeed a shame. After all, their nerves will definitely be in a state of high tension behind the battle. Even if they are slow to react or feel physical pain, they will just think that this is the place of injury. As a result, I would never think about poisoning at all. After all, poison is used in battle, this kind of despicable means of combat is still rarely seen. When Lister told Blarley about this skill, Blarley was still embarrassed to use it. But after Wrist's enlightenment, Blair's face has become thicker and thicker. As long as he can defeat his opponent, it will be shameless. Rhodes, who fought Raquel, has found Raquel's shooting pattern. Although Raquel is a big man, if he is personally careful, Raquel can definitely be among the 20 elite students. It can be considered to be among the best. Everyone's moves are almost fixed, especially when facing a fixed object, and Rhodes is a fixed object for Raquel. No matter what kind of attack Raquel makes, Rhodes will I have been defending with Iron Body. So because Rhodes's defense method has not changed, this has also led to the fact that Raquel's offensive method has not changed. Rhodes has now also discovered that Raquel's nerves have been somewhat relaxed. To be honest, Rhodes dislikes such battles very much. Although the opponent can't hurt himself, Rhodes also doesn't like the feeling of being beaten. He likes that a person can have a head-on contest with him. Experience the thrill of punching to the flesh. In the face of speed or skill-based opponents, this fighting method was taught by Ryester. 
using Rhodes's patience and care, this is a very suitable fighting method for him. It's now. Rhodes' eyes widened in an instant, and all the defenses on his body were suddenly relaxed, and he quickly stretched out a punch. Since this punch Rhodes exploded the power of his whole body, the speed of his punches was also extremely fast. The timing that Rhodes found was the time when Raquel's attacks came to a halt, and within this time, Raquel could not make any moves. Iron Body Bang Although Rhodes can also use Finger Pistol, he prefers the power that Iron Body gives him. And this move is similar to Lister's, Iron Body Bump Fist. After all, this trick was also taught to him by wrist, it can be regarded as a weakened version of, Iron Body Bankwon. Although Rhodes really likes and is very suitable for cultivating Iron Body, he has not reached the point where he can use Iron Body to operate freely like Ryester, so when using Iron Body, he can't mobilize the energy in the body at will. So Rhodes started with the simplest part that was most helpful to him, and that was his fist. Coupled with Ryester's guidance, Rhodes' progress on the Iron Body was already the strongest among the 20 elite students. N.S. Even some vice admiral from naval headquarters is not as proficient in Iron Body as Rhodes. After all, Rhodes is now majoring in Iron Body, while most vice admiral only requires a six-type master. Requires Grand Master. The powerful fist force directly knocked Raquel's body into the air. During the flight, the body was bent into a bow shape, and even the eyeballs almost flew out of the eye sockets. Needless to say, under this blow, even if Raquel was immortal, he would have lost half of his life. He flew several tens of meters away, and never stood up again. Wrist could feel the faint breath radiating from his body. Although he did not die immediately, he could not hold on for long if he left it alone for a long time. Time is up. The internal organs in his body had already shifted under the blow of Rhodes, and some had even been broken into slag. It can be said that the inside of his body was already in a state of bleeding. Even if the vitality of the people in the pirate world is tenacious, they can't last long. And the blood wolf Fran who was fighting with Blair didn't have the energy to pay attention to his deputy captain's situation at all. He didn't know why. He felt that the surrounding voices seemed to be getting smaller and smaller, and the realization was getting more and more. It was dim, and the feeling in my mind was particularly sleepy. As if he was going to fall asleep in the next second. But he knew that if he was asleep, death was definitely waiting for him. He didn't know why he was like this, but he was absolutely inseparable from the person in front of him. At this time, Bulele had stopped his attack, looking at the blood wolf whose figure had been swaying in front of him, a smile appeared at the corner of his mouth. Now the result is very obvious. Rhodes has already solved his opponent, and of course he can't fall behind. And Fran also felt that his body was limp, as if he couldn't stand up anymore, his attack was concentrated on Blaley's body, and Blaley did not hide, because for him now, Fran's the attack was already soft and weak. Go down. At this time, Bulele's voice was like a magic sound to Fran. At the moment the voice fell, Fran fell straight in front of Bulele, and even Devil Fruit's state disappeared. N.S. Then Blaley took out the pistol that was pinned to his waist and killed the opponent without hesitation. In this regard, even if the war is over here, no one on Marine was killed. Although there were wounded, they were all slightly injured and the villagers all cheered excitedly at this time, and the demon in their eyes had now been repelled by the Angel of Justice. Hearing the cheers of these villagers, the students also showed smiles on their faces. What is their purpose as a marine? It is to eliminate harm to the people and get the recognition of the people on the sea. Now that they have done it, they have realized that they have become marines. In a real sense, they have also received a satisfactory report for their hard work in the past two years. All they have paid are worth it. Congratulations, the assessment passed. Wrist said with a smile, he was also very proud in his heart, because he brought out these students after all. Yeah, hearing Lister's words of approval, these students all cheered. Although they all cheered the same, the cheers with these villagers had two meanings. Thank you, everyone, thank you. At this moment, a villager suddenly walked up to Lister and them, knelt on the ground and said, this man was the one who had just been rescued by Lister. It doesn't have to be. Wrist quickly helped him up. It is our Marine's duty to eliminate pirates, and this is what we should do. But I still want to thank you. If it weren't for you, the consequences for us people would be disastrous. 
At this moment, his face was already full of tears, and he couldn't imagine what would happen if Rist came a while later. He might be in hell now, and his wife might be enduring it too. Inhuman torture. But should you change the name of your island? After all, in this era, pirates like the Blood Wolf Pirate Group will definitely have endless levels. Yes, we will definitely obey the words of my benefactor, and there will be no Fulsus Island in the world in the future. Good, but at this moment, Ryester's expression instantly reappeared, and the joyful expression on his face disappeared immediately, replaced by a gloomy and solemn face. Chapter 51 Big Brother, What's the Matter? Browley noticed the change in Lister's face and asked with concern. Hurry up and ask Naval Headquarters for help. At least Kuzan, Sakazuki, and Pelusolino should be sent out one vice admiral, preferably Pelusolino. Good, Browley didn't ask any more, because seeing Ryester's face change dramatically, he realized the seriousness of the matter. Others protect these people and run as far as they can. A cold sweat broke out on Ryester's forehead, and his observation hockey just now sensed a huge aura flying towards them. The huge vitality was far inferior to Master Zephyr. It was also in the shape of a dragon, and Rist couldn't think of anyone else besides that guy. Master Marine, what's the matter? Don't ask, do as I say and execute the order. Yes, instructor. Then these students ignored the resistance of these ordinary people and forcibly took them away and stayed away from this place. Soon, dark clouds began to spread in the sky, lightning and thunder began to flash, and a huge phantom was looming in this gloomy thundercloud. It turned out to be this guy. Although Rist could not see the specific appearance of that creature, he thought it should be one of the four emperors in the future, Kaido. He couldn't understand why he met this guy here, but now he has no room to think about it. Those marines or civilians who hadn't escaped yet saw the huge dragon shadow in the sky, and they were all stunned. That's the big pirate, Kaido. A marine academy tremblingly said that when they were studying, the pirates that needed to be paid attention to were the New World Pirates, so they also got to know Kaido a little bit. That's the big pirate of New World, how could it be here? I don't know, you ask me, who am I going to ask? Blaley, did you ask Naval Headquarters for help? I'll fight now. Afterwards, Blair hurriedly took out the phone bug, and then called out helplessly. When faced with Kaido's momentum, they were pretty good without being scared. Blue blue blue, click, hello, this is Naval Headquarters. We are students in the elite class of Marine Academy. We were attacked by big pirates during our outing assessment. We asked our headquarters for support. Browley said in a panic. Which pirate is it? Where is your instructor? It's the big pirate of New World the captain of Beast's Pirates, Kaido, our instructor is entangled with Kaido, please send troops to the headquarters quickly. Okay, I see, you must hold on. The person at naval headquarters also realized the seriousness of the matter. It was Kaido of Beast's Pirates. Even if it was a pirate that Marine Admiral didn't want to face, it's not that his strength is too strong, but that his vitality is too tenacious. After hanging up the phone, he quickly reported to his superiors that this kind of New World pirate appeared in the first half of the Grand Line, and he had to report it directly to Admiral. Report Sengoku Admiral, it's not good. The operator came to Sengoku Admiral's office in a panic, sweating on his forehead from the fast running. What's wrong? Panicked. Sengoku rubbed his temples and was about to take over as the marshal. He is getting busier and busier now. If he gets busy anymore, he feels like he's going to die suddenly. Report that Sengoku Admiral encountered Kaido from Beast's Pirates during the evaluation process of the elite class of Marine Academy. They are seeking help from the department. What? Hearing this report, Sengoku stood up from his chair in shock, his eyes widened a lot. Who is the leading instructor? It's a Marine named Lister, I haven't heard of it. Oops, there was a cold sweat on Sengoku's forehead, and if something happened to Wrist, Zephyr would be able to fight Kaido desperately. Where is the location of Zephyr Admiral now? On Kura Island, there is a huge distance from Fulsus Island. If Zephyr Admiral is sent for reinforcements, it may be too late. Let Pelusolino put down all the work at hand, go to Forces Island to reinforce Lister, and tell him that there is absolutely no way for Lister to have an accident. Yes, Sengoku Admiral. And on Forces Island, Rist felt that Kaido's spirit seemed a little wrong, as if it was a little blurred. Belch. Suddenly, Kaido burped, 
and the strong smell of alcohol emanated from Kaido's mouth, and Ryester smelled it all at once. So you drank too much, Rist secretly said, letting out a sigh of relief in his heart. Is this the island of Forces? Give Lousy the treasure of Forces quickly, Kaido said intermittently, talking and belching alcohol. It turned out that Kaido was drinking with his subordinates, and heard his subordinates mention this legend, and then he flew directly over. It was too late for several of his subordinates to stop it. There is no treasure of Forsyth here, Ryester replied, if Kaido can be distracted in this way, that would be great. He doesn't want to fight Kaido. It's one thing to say whether you can fight to death or whether you can fight it. Hiccup, you deceive, quickly hand over the treasure of forces, otherwise Lousy will let your island disappear from the world. I said, there is no Forsyth's treasure here. Since there is no such thing, then there is no need for this island to exist. After speaking, Kaido opened his mouth, and a fireball formed in Kaido's mouth. Heat, a powerful flame spurted directly from Kaido's mouth, and his target was Ryester in front of him. This guy, you really want to fight as long as you say it. Afterwards, Rist also drew his saber on his waist and covered it with an armed hockey. Slash wave. A golden sword gas instantly split the blazing flames from the middle and directly hit Kaido's mouth. However, since the attack power of Slash Wave has been partially offset by the flames, plus Kaido's pervert physique, Slash Wave's attack on Kaido's mouth has no effect. What is your relationship with Golden Lion? Kaido seemed to wake up a bit. After all, he and Golden Lion used to be crew members of the same pirate group, so he was very familiar with Golden Lion's attacks. You don't need to worry, Kaido, go back to your new world obediently, this is not your presumptuous place. Now that the battle has begun, there is no need to be merciful. What do you kids say? Lousy can't go anywhere, Lousy can go wherever he wants to go, even if it's your naval headquarters, Lousy will go as long as you want, and go back if you want. Kaido was a little awake at this time, so he noticed the marine uniform that Ryester was wearing. The most annoying thing about Lousy is you marines, let me die. Bad wind, quote, Kaido opened his mouth again, but this time it wasn't flames that he breathed out, but wind blades after another, like the slashing of a sickle, which can cut the enemy. Lion, Thousand Slice Valley. Ryester also immediately used his own swordsmanship. If Kaido's attack fell on this island, the island might be gone. Since Golden Lion is a great swordsman with two swords, Rist didn't use a lot of sword energy with a single sword, but it was enough to block the wind blade in Kaido's mouth. You know, Rist Slash is a sword-powered slash, and it can't be blocked by a casual sword-like attack. After several sword chi broke through the wind blade, it hit Kaido's body again. Hey, it hurts, you kid. The attack fell on Kaido's body, and it did not cause obvious scars to Kaido, but it also made Kaido feel the pain from the skin. After all, even if Kaido was rough and thick, he resisted several slashes of the great swordsman from the front. Some can't stand it. At this time, Kaido had completely sobered up, and then the huge dragon body fell down and turned back into a human form, looking at Rist with solemn eyes. Lister stood in front of Kaido, like an adult and a child. After all, Kaido's body was too large, and Lister was indeed a child. You kid, won't you be Golden Lion's son? Golden Lion actually let his son join Marine, ha 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 ha, you are really going to laugh at me. Kaido seemed to have recognized his guess, and laughed. But even if you are Golden Lion's son, Lousy will not show mercy to you. Just take care of me by Golden Lion. Although he used to be on a pirate ship with Golden Lion, his relationship with Golden Lion was not very good. Golden Lion was a cadre of that pirate group, and he was just an intern of that pirate group. The relationship between them is not equal, and the pirate group is a place where strength is the best. Interns like them are usually oppressed. Of course, Golden Lion has also bullied him. Lousy is not the illegitimate child of Golden Lion, Kaido, I think you should look at your brain before you become a pirate. Your brain is flooded. Come on, Golden Lion's illegitimate child, let me take a look, your strength has reached a few percent of Golden Lion. Kaido seems to have identified Lister, no matter what Lister says now, it seems to be useless. Remember it for me. Lousy is Lister, a marine. After speaking, Rist took the knife and covered armament hockey and slashed towards Kaido. 
Kaido also took out his mace and expanded with wrist sword. In an instant, a black and red lightning burst out from the junction of the two weapons, and two similar but somewhat different auras enveloped the golden lion and wrist. This is conqueror's hockey. Even the clouds and the sky split because of the collision between the two. The powerful momentum generated by the collision between the two directly broke the island to pieces, as if a tenth level wind had blown, all the trees had broken, and the ground also cracked around the two people. While hiding in the distance, some unsteady people fainted directly. What's happening here? Brawley said in shock. He felt that his brain had stopped thinking now. Is this the aura that humans can produce? Just kidding. Rhodes also said with an unbelievable look. They thought that their strength was strong enough, but now that they saw this battle, they knew that they were too whimsical. They have seen another piece of the world, they have seen the gap with the world's top. Unexpectedly, instructor's strength is so powerful, it can even be equal to that Kaido. That's right, in their eyes, Conqueror's hockey on wrist's body firmly suppressed Kaido. After all, the Conqueror's hockey that Ryester broke out as a combination of Rayleigh and Roger, plus his own. If Ryester masters the more advanced usage of Conqueror's hockey, he believes that no one in this world is better than his Conqueror's hockey. Strong. You kid. This time, Kaido finally faced Lister. Conqueror's hockey has few people able to crush him, including his former captain, Rox, One Piece, Roger, and the only one still alive, the old man Whitebeard. Other people's Conqueror's hockey is either equal to him, or weaker than him, but he did not expect that Conqueror's hockey, who is stronger than him, would meet with a kid and feel stronger than Conqueror's hockey of the old man Whitebeard. Interesting, join us beasts pirates, Marine is not for you. Kaido's brain circuit didn't know how long it was, so he directly invited Lister. You don't have that qualification yet. This sentence, but completely irritated Kaido. The strength in his hand suddenly increased a lot. Even though his conqueror's hockey was weaker than Lister's, his strength was much stronger than Lister's. Under Kaido's strong power, Lister's feet were slowly sink into the ground. Really a monster. Ryester gritted his teeth inwardly. If he persists, it is very likely that he will be beaten into the ground by Kaido half of his body. Afterwards, Ryester's body directly turned into a golden light and disappeared, and Kaido suddenly had no strength to compete with it due to the use of powerful power, and his body staggered, a little unbalanced. Boy, I didn't expect you to be demon fruit power. Although Kaido hadn't recognized what devil fruit Ryester was using for the time being, or that he hadn't even thought about the devil fruit that appeared before, based on the action that Ryester had just left, it should be Logia's. There are so many things you don't know. Rist is not afraid to be exposed now, after all, his life is the most important thing. After speaking, Rist was elementalized again, and came directly to the top of Kaido's head. It was another sword. Now his swordsmanship is his most powerful attack. If swordsmanship is useless, then other attacks will not be able to achieve much. Effect. Although Ryester's swordsmanship was copied, he is now a veritable swordsman, and he is still copied from Golden Lion's sword intent and tricks, and after his endless training in the past two years, he has completely it can be the artistic conception of a master swordsman, no matter what kind of move it is, it will have the power of a swordsman. Magic Sword, Shirakut. This is a move created by Ryester in the past two years. I saw that there was a mysterious purple light on Ryester's sword, like a pattern of ghosts, carrying the infinite sword intent. And a special mood. This kind of mood can not only strengthen the power of sword intent, but also confuse the opponent's mind, but this trick does not play a big role for Kaido. The big pirate like Kaido has a very firm mind and mood, almost nothing. Something can confuse his mind. Thunder 8 Trigrams. I saw Kaido's iron rod suddenly engulfed with lightning, exploding with a huge aura, and it seemed to still have the aura of Conqueror's hockey. Shira's sword intent directly collided with Kaido's iron rod entwining thunder and lightning. The strong aftermath directly caused the sea outside the island to produce layers of waves. The climate in the sky has become extremely dim, and it has almost been seen. The light is bright. The people on the island are struggling to support under the protection of those marine students, but those students are not feeling well now. The impact of the two conquerors hockey just now almost fainted all the civilians on the island. Most of the classmates were also fainted. Only the 20 elite class students are able to move freely, 
but their spirits are constantly facing tremendous pressure, because every collision between Ryester and Kaido will almost always involve a confrontation between Conqueror's hockey. And regardless of the rubble brought by the hurricane flying in all directions, and facing such rubble, only they have the strength to solve it. At this time, Ryester's face was already a bit hideous. Of course, Kaido was not very comfortable either. The feeling that conquerors had been suppressed all the time caused his combat effectiveness to drop rapidly. Therefore, there were drops of cold sweat on Kaido's forehead. His skin was thick and thick, but if he could not defend against Ryester's attack, Ryester's swordsmanship would definitely leave wounds on his body. The two are now at a stage where they are insisting on each other. Kaido can't help but Kaido, and Kaido can't do anything with List. The two are now in such a delicate balance. Let's see who can take the lead. Break this balance. But in the next second, Rist's eyes condensed, and saw that the sword in his hand had broken marks. Of course, Kaido also saw this scene. Ha ha ha, boy, although your swordsmanship is good, but unfortunately, your weapons are not good. Kaido felt that his victory was hopeful. Any knife can become a black knife. This sentence is a sentence said by the future great swordsman, Hakai Mahawk. The touch of this sentence is very simple. Even if it is a wooden sword, as long as it is wrapped around armament hockey, it will become indestructible. But this sentence is not absolutely accurate. It has a lot to do with the weapon used by the opponent. His armament hockey is not as good as Kaido, but the quality of the weapon in his hand is not good. After all, the sword in Ryester's hand is just an ordinary marine saber. There is no way to compare with the iron rod in Kaido's hand. It's really enough to drop the chain. Ryester cursed in his heart, and if the stalemate continues, after the sword in his hand is completely shattered, the iron rod wrapped around armament hockey in Kaido's hand will definitely matter to him. Then, even if his usefulness as elemental can't escape, there is no way, Rist can only take the initiative to retreat and the sword in his hand has been completely abandoned by him. A knife that is about to shatter has no effect in this battle. On the contrary, it will become a cumbersome. This knife will make Ryester fearful in the battle, and he will not dare to use his full strength. So it would be better to just discard this knife now. Marine, no weapons, what are you fighting against me? Who said I have no weapons? Rist smiled mysteriously, and saw Rist's hands clenched fists together and then extended to the sides, a golden light formed directly between the two hands. Sky Cloud Sword I saw that a golden sword appeared in Rist's hands. Come on, Kaido, the second round begins. After speaking, Lister directly elementalized and rushed to Kaido, faster than before. After all, it is a sword made of elements. Even if it is covered with armament hockey, it may be stronger than an ordinary sword, but at most it is the quality of a big knife. But it was much better than the sword that Ryester had used before. You kid, Kaido cursed secretly. He didn't expect this kid to be so difficult. He thought that after Ryester's sword was broken, the battle would become much easier, but he didn't expect to make this kind of evil way again. The collision between Ryester's sky cloud sword and Kaido's iron rod, although a little bit of golden light will fall from the sky cloud sword, it does not get in the way, and Ryester's elements will continue to be supplemented. At this time, the battle between the two people has become more and more fierce, Ryester's shot speed is getting faster and faster, and Kaido can only passively defend. Although it seems that Ryester has the upper hand now, it is not the case. Ryester's physical strength is about to bottom out. Wrist. At this moment, List heard a somewhat wretched and familiar voice, and he knew who this person was right away. Hearing this sound, Ryester immediately left using elementalization. Bakichang Guyu. Countless dazzling light bullets directly covered the area where Rist was fighting with Kaido just now, but since Rist had already been elementalized and left, there was only Kaido there. Seeing the arrival of reinforcements, Rist breathed a sigh of relief. Porosalino's strength is very strong, at least now in Marine, almost no one knows how his full strength is. As soon as the salary arrives, the four emperors will waste it. Ryester originally thought that this sentence was just talking, but now it does not seem to be the case. Speed is power. There is nothing wrong with this sentence. Especially when Ryester got the sparkling fruit, he knows the power of this fruit even more. How powerful. It's really time to come, Pelusolino Vice Admiral. Rist flew to Kazaru's side and said to him. 
Afterwards, Lister also assumed the same posture as Kazaru. Baki Chang Guyu. The double eight foot Chang Guyu directly covered the area where Kaido was, and a cloud of dust had spread on the ground, completely enveloping Kaido. Seeing the moves used by Wrist, Pelusolino sighed slightly. His moves were actually used by another person. This feeling is really uncomfortable. I want to stop the other person. I found myself helpless. Your ability is really a little bit awkward. Porosalino said to Lister. If it's owed, I can't match Pelusolino's vice admiral. Hearing Ryester's piercing counterattack, Glass Salino curled his lips. He had grown up like this, and he had nothing to do. It was natural. After that, the attacks of the two stopped at the same time, but the expressions on the faces of the two people did not relax in any way, and they were still very solemn. Their observation hockey felt that Kaido's aura was still very strong, as if it hadn't been affected by this move at all. After the dust dissipated, Kaido entered the sight of the two again. I saw that Kaido's body had golden spots of light, but there was no injury, and the skin scorched by the light bomb. It is slowly recovering little by little. Then, a powerful breath burst out of Kaido's body. This breath was like a beast, giving people a shuddering feeling. At this moment, Kaido is not a person, but a dragon in Ryester's feelings. With such a huge vitality, Ryester has never seen it before. Porosolino Vice Admiral, is it okay to leave this guy to you alone? Ryester said, hey hey hey, you can forgive me and let me deal with this monster by myself. Isn't this killing me? But my physical strength has also bottomed out. List said sadly, let's lie to the ghost. Porosolino gave Ryester a white look. Even if it is naturally demon fruit power, using attacks consumes one's own energy, and the 8-foot jade jade used by the steel Ryester is obviously still a good job. Ha ha ha, I didn't expect to be discovered by Vice Admiral. Wrist smiled, not at all ashamed of being exposed to a lie. Seriously, this guy is not so easy to deal with. Suddenly, Pelusolino's expression became serious. Okay, I know. Seeing Pelusolino's expression like this, Wrist knew that he couldn't fish in troubled waters. Wrist is absolutely Kazaru's fish in troubled waters in battle is not Kazaru's original character, it may be a side effect of sparkling fruit, after all, even Wrist is now a little bit inclined towards the future Kazaru trend. Although he had been fighting hard just now, he didn't explode his full strength, but he was nearly 80% of his strength, because Lister knew that even if he exploded with all his strength, he would not be Kaido's opponent. But now that Kazaru is here, the result is different. The two of them are really likely to knock Kaido back. The scene of two sparkling fruits fighting at the same time is really spectacular. Hearing these words from Wrist, Pelusolino also showed a different color on his face. Perhaps he was also looking forward to the appearance of two sparkling fruits at the same time. After all, sparkling fruit itself is both gorgeous and powerful. Afterwards, Kazaru took a step forward and came to Kaido in direct elementalization. Have you been kicked by the speed of light again? It was Kazaru's beating voice again. You yellow-skinned monkey is really annoying. Kaido said angrily. He has dealt with Pelusolino several times, so he is very aware of the difficulty of sparkling fruit. Now he has an ability similar to sparkling fruit. He will definitely fight after a while. Not fun at all. Kazaru's speed is very fast. Even if Kaido intentionally wants to defend against Kazaru's attack, he can't do it. After all, Kazaru's speed has surpassed Kaido observation hockey, and the opponent's hockey can't catch him at all. Kazaru kicked directly on Kaido's head. A normal person touched this kick and his head was gone. Even a powerful person who was the first to defend with armament hockey would be kicked more than 10 meters away. Dozens of meters away. But Kaido, the observation hockey with only the head, defended Kazaru's light speed kick and didn't step back. Are you just this strength, yellow skinned monkey? What if you make another kick? Kaido had just finished taunting, and another nasty voice came from his ear. This voice was Ryester. He didn't know when he had appeared on Kaido's head, his feet were glowing with golden light, and he hit Kaido's head directly. Go down. The powerful impact instantly shattered the ground under Kaido's feet, and half of his legs were already in the ground. Afterwards, the two backed up at the same time. At the same time, he extended his index finger to Kaido. At this time, Kaido, whose legs are embedded in the ground and unable to move, is like a living target. Laser. 
There was a golden light on the fingertips of the two people at the same time, and then they flew out directly at Kaido, concentrated on Kaido, and a huge explosion occurred directly. One after another laser shots directly hit Kaido's body, but the expressions on the faces of the two people are still very solemn, because in their observation hockey perception, Kaido's vitality is still so strong, and their attacks are on Kaido. In other words, the effect is very weak. But even so, the two have not stopped. Kaido, who was covering his head with his hands, was very angry at this time. He was particularly frustrated in this battle. He was not very good at speed, so his attack could not hit two people at all. And he really looked like a target now. Afterwards, Kaido felt more and more aggrieved. When did he suffer such aggrievedness? The strength of these two men was obviously not as good as him, but he just couldn't defeat them. You two guys irritate me completely. Kaido yelled, his body shape gradually changed, and he saw scales grow on his body, and the injuries he had just left on his whole body healed in an instant. As soon as he exerted force on his legs, he immediately broke free from the restraints of the ground. No, this monster. Both Pelusolino and Wrist were stunned. They knew Kaido was a monster, but their strength was far beyond their imagination. In particular, Ryester suffered a heavy blow in his heart. He originally thought he was not far from the world, but he did not expect that there was still a distance. Both Ryester and Pelusolino have left cold sweats on their foreheads. They both know that with Kaido's current physique, they will definitely become stronger again in the future. They simply can't imagine how Kaido's future strength will be. What kind of point is reached? Is this the four emperors of the future? I didn't expect it to be so terrible now. Wrist thought with a heavy heart that although he believed he would become stronger, he now had to admit that there was still a big gap between him and Kaido. I saw that in a flash, Kaido's figure reached directly in front of the two people, and his two big hands grabbed the heads of Lister and Pelusolino. Pelusolino's eyes shrank, and Ryester's observation hockey also felt a great danger. Fortunately, the ability of sparkling fruit also made their expressions react faster. The two were elementalized in an instant, and the light element passed directly between Kaido's fingers. Since it was already elementalized, even if Kaido's hands were covered with armament hockey, they could not grasp the two entities. The two of them came to Kaido's back in an instant, and at the same time they transformed the sky cloud sword and slashed at Kaido. However, the scars caused very in-depth. Since Pelusolino is not a great swordsman, his lightsaber fell on Kaido's body without any scars, while Ryester left a wound on Kaido's body. A puff of blood came out directly from Kaido's back. It's kid. Kaido directly turned around, waved his hand to the back, and the two of them once again evaded elementally at the same time. It's like a fly, so annoying. Kaido said angrily. In the dragon state, Kaido has greatly improved its strength, speed and endurance, and even its resilience has become abnormally terrifying. The sword wound that Ryester left on Kaido's body was in the blink of an eye. It's restored as before. Wrist is still good at physique, but Pelusolino's physique is not good at all. If the two of them face the current Kaido hard steel, they are likely to be crushed on the ground by Kaido. Master Vice Admiral, won't you be the only reinforcements coming? Probably not. Porosolino's forehead also shed a drop of cold sweat or two. If he were the only one, then the fate of the two of them would be terrible. Next, I will use my strongest form, but after that, I will be relieved and I will lose any resistance. So when that happens, I will ask Master Vice Admiral. Hey hey hey, don't you, give me such a troublesome thing. Porosolino said reluctantly. Well, or leave the task of containing Kaido to you, and I will do the aftermath. Forget it, give me a break, I don't want to fight this monster head on. Kazaru spread his hands. Although his tone was frivolous, the expression on his face didn't match his tone at all. Then I'll beg you. Afterwards, Wrist's figure suddenly radiated golden light, and began to grow bigger, slowly turning into a golden Buddha, similar in shape to the Sengoku Buddha, probably because of the difference in face. As Sengoku Admiral's Devil Fruit ability. If this is the case, it is indeed possible to contain Kaido. But shortly afterwards, in Kazaru's surprised gaze, a sword condensed with light elements suddenly appeared in the hands of Wrist's Buddha form. Does the big Buddha form plus the ability of sparkling fruit? Unexpectedly, the ability of two fruits can be used at the same time. Porosolino looked at Wrist's eyes a little more seriously. 
If all the devil fruit abilities in Rist's body could be used together, it would be terrifying. However, the main attack ability of the Great Buddha form is the Shock Wave. With the Sky Cloud Sword, is it not worth the gain? Porosalino thought, squinting. However, he now has to admit that the strength shown by Lister is already very terrifying, and he is definitely the most powerful candidate for Admiral in the future, and is likely to become his competitor. Oh, upon seeing this scene, Kaido's eyes flashed with a strange color, and he was more and more unable to understand what Reister's devil fruit ability was. However, Pelusolino suddenly discovered that a small purple flower appeared on the head of the Big Buddha in Lister. I saw that Ryester's Big Buddha form was directly elementalized to the top of Kaido's head, kicked directly at Kaido, stepped into the ground with a powerful impact, and directly lifted Kaido's huge body. Then Rist raised the Sky Cloud Sword and slashed directly at Kaido. It's just that when the sword fell, a shockwave directly enveloped Kaido. Unlike the Great Buddha shockwave used by Sengoku Admiral, the shockwave used by Rist with the Sky Cloud Sword contains a terrifying sword intent. Afterwards, Kaido was enveloped by the shockwave, and dense scars appeared on the surface of his body, as if he had been chopped by countless swords, and a stream of blood also spurted out of Kaido's mouth. This is the original ability of the shock wave, which directly affects the internal organs in Kaido's body. After the shot fell, Rist retreated in an instant, panting heavily, the cold sweat on his forehead was already dense, and the physical consumption of the big Buddha form was too terrifying. Just after such a short period of time, Lister was already unable to hold on, and the golden light on the surface of the Buddha was looming at this time. Afterwards, Kaido was also aiming at the time and arrived in front of Rist almost instantly. At this time, the two people were about the same size. Kaido's mace was swung hard, and Rist's body was like playing a baseball. Was knocked out. Immediately afterwards, Kaido wanted to win the chase, but at this moment, Pelusolino, who was in a visual battle, suddenly shot. Although he could not cause effective damage to Kaido, he could also be harassed. Bakichang Guyu. You know, the power of light is also terrifying. The speed of ultimate and the terrifying high temperature, although Kaido is rough and thick, but if you don't defend yourself, you will be slightly injured. So Kaido's movements were forced to stop, which finally gave Ryester a chance to breathe. Master Vice Admiral, I almost have the strength for the final blow. I will leave the rest to you. Isn't it? A bad feeling arose in Porosalino's heart instantly. If he were to face this monster alone, ten lives would not be enough for him to squander. But Rist now has no time to listen to Kazaru's complaints. His big Buddha form may be removed at any time, so he must use this last time to deliver his strongest blow to Kaido. I saw that Rist was once again elementalized and came to the back of Kaido. Two sky cloud swords appeared in his hand, and they directly crossed Kaido and slashed in the past. Two powerful shock waves directly acted on Kaido's body. In an instant, Kaido felt a tremendous pressure, and his entire body sank under the impact of this shock wave. Dense sword marks appeared on his body again, and blood was shed from his facial features under the blow. However, this attack did not last long. In the next second, Rist directly exited the form of the Great Buddha, and fell directly in front of Kaido just like that. And Kaido was panting because of Lister's hit. Just now, when he was in the range of the shock wave, Kaido felt a very depressed feeling, as if it was a breathless one. Fortunately, he persevered, and then he looked at Rist, who was lying in front of him, his eyes were full of cruelty, and this marine kid couldn't keep him. Not good. Seeing this scene, Kazaru secretly said, and then went directly to the area between Lister and Kaido. The cloud sword of the sky clumped Kaido's mace, and then kicked Lister away with one kick, away from this dangerous area. Is Lousy's opponent next to you, a yellow-skinned monkey? Hearing the tone of Kaido's hockey, Pelusolino's heart groaned secretly. He didn't want to face this monster, but it wouldn't work if he didn't fight. If Ryester had problems here, he would most likely be become Marine's sinner. I don't want to fight you, if I can, I hope you can leave now. Porosalino said, want Lousy to leave, then give me that Marine kid and Lousy will let you go. Since you say that, you can't agree, then please prepare for being bombarded by light. After that, Pelusolino's momentum has changed. And all of this was in the sense of Ryester. Although Ryester had fallen on his back, he was not in a coma. After sensing the aura emanating from Pelusolino, 
Ryester was a little bit eager to scold his mother. I didn't expect Pelusolino to have a hand when he fought just now. But Pelusolino in this state is really surprisingly reassuring. Light can also exude warmth. Although Pelusolino is usually a nonchalant gesture, Pelusolino still has the ability to advocate the overall situation in the face of real things. All Ryester can do now is to regain his stamina, and if he can, he can better fight with Pelusolino and Kaido. Are you finally serious, you yellow-skinned monkey? As one of the firmly established admiral in the future, Porosolino's strength is naturally not simple. The real combat power may not be as good as Kaido, but it is impossible for Kaido to defeat him. Afterwards, Kaido raised his mace and slashed at Pelusolino, and he also condensed the Sky Cloud Sword, collided with Kaido's mace, and the head-on confrontation did not even fall in the slightest. Downwind. But this was only a stalemate for three seconds. As a person who mainly focuses on Devil Fruit's abilities, he can't compare to Kaido in terms of physical strength or endurance. He was directly knocked out by Kaido, then elementalized in the air, stabilized his figure, and flew into the air. Be careful, Kaido. Afterwards, I saw a dazzling golden light burst out of Pelusolino's body, and it was continuously scattered. Several golden lights directly surrounded Kaido, and every golden light seemed to have Pelusolino's figure. Is this the real strength of Pelusolino? Rist, who was lying on the ground, thought in surprise that when Pelusolino was on display now, it seemed to be stronger than the strength shown by the war in his memory. These afterimages can only be formed at a certain speed. False and true, true and false, these shadows are both true and false. I saw that countless Kazaru extended their index fingers to Kaido at the same time. Laser. Hundreds of rays of light directly attacked Kaido's body. Although Ba Kai Chong Guyu can be regarded as Sparkling Fruit's ultimate skill, it is mainly a large-scale attack, and each light bomb is not as powerful as a laser. And in this state of Kazaru, every laser can hit Kaido's body, which is much more accurate than the Ba Sha Chong Guyu. Every time a laser hits Kaido, it will explode on his body. Even the most powerful body, under this uninterrupted bombardment, some places become a little black. Of course, Kaido did not stay in place to bomb Pelusolino, but constantly attacked every light and shadow. However, Pelusolino can reach any of his phantoms almost instantly, so even if Kaido has attacked dozens of times, he hasn't even touched Pelusolino's clothes. But the number of lasers has dropped a lot. This monster, Porosolino secretly said, and did not stop the attack on his hand. At this time, Pelusolino had prepared for the worst. If it didn't work, he could only take Rist out of here in the end. As for those marines, they could only pray for their own blessings. Rist also noticed Pelusolino's state, lay down on the ground, and fell into deep self-blame. His fingers had been inserted into the ground, and the blood had flowed out of the fingers. I don't know. In the early stage, Pelusolino used his fruit ability to suppress Kaido, but now, the balance of victory has gradually tilted towards Kaido. Is this battle going to be lost? The toxin released by the fascinating little flower on the top of Rist's head has no effect on Kaido, because Kaido's recovery ability in the dragon state is too strong. At this time, there are already two phantoms of Pelusolino above Kaido's head. Next, you will die for lousy. Kaido roared, and then immediately began to circle in place, and the huge tornado generated directly enveloped the two Kazaru. One of them flew out of the tornado, and the other welcome was blown away by the powerful tornado. Wrist, prepare to escape. At this time, Pelusolino came to Wrist's side and said that Kaido's aura was already extremely terrifying at this time. He was really frustrated in this battle, so now he sees that these two are a little weak. People, Kaido is extremely excited, he can't wait to rub the yellow-skinned monkey on the ground. Really unwilling, Lister, who was lying on the ground, gritted his teeth and said. Unexpectedly, the two of them could not beat Kaido. In the end, they were beaten and fled by Kaido. If there were only two of them on this island, Lister might be now. I have chosen to escape long ago. But there are still civilians and the marine students he led out on this island, and he couldn't do that. At this time, Ryester's heart was extremely entangled. If he did not escape, he might die here, but if he escaped, all the students he led would definitely die here. In front of Kaido angrily, they are completely at the mercy of others, and they can't even escape. It's really embarrassing, Lister, Pelusolino. 
At this time, a set of voices suddenly came out from a distance. Upon hearing this voice, the two of them immediately became relieved. Even Pelusolino, who hated hearing this sound the most before, felt at ease when he heard this sound. I saw a man with purple hair, sunglasses and a marine coat using moonwalk and hurried towards them. Ms. Zephyr, it's really time for you to come. Pelusolino breathed a sigh of relief. Well, I didn't expect that the old kid has grown to such a point now that even our marine elite can no longer arrest you. Zephyr looked at Kaido in front of him and said solemnly. He had met with Kaido several times, but Kaido was just a pirate trainee who had some excellent pirates, so they didn't pay much attention to the intern kid. Marine Admiral, Zephyr. The expression on Kaido's face has become more serious than ever. He has seen Zephyr several times before, and the strength that Zephyr once demonstrated has given him a great formation. Although Zephyr is now old, his current state is not very good. If he fights against Zephyr, he will definitely lose. Unexpectedly, even Marine Admiral and Zephyr are here. In that case, the yellow-skinned monkey and the Marine kid lying next to you will spare your lives today. When we meet next time, you will die. I to be set. After that, Kaido turned into a blue dragon and flew away. Zephyr didn't stop him. After he got the news, he rushed over to Moonwalk all the way, and his physical exertion was huge. If you continue to fight with Kaido, although he may win, it will definitely be a miserable victory, and accidents are likely to happen in the middle, so this time Kaido will leave first. What do you look like lying on the ground, get me up? Zephyr walked up to Lister and said solemnly. Sorry, master, I humiliated you. Rist did not expect that after two years of training, his first battle from naval headquarters would be a big defeat. But Rist didn't get up. His body was really sore now, and even moving his fingers was extremely laborious. Hey, there is still a long way to go in the future. It is normal that you are not Kaido's opponent now. If you can beat Kaido now, where do you let our faces go? I'm sorry, master. Lister doesn't know what he should say now. He knows that it is normal for him to not be able to beat Kaido, but he is unwilling. Ah, hearing Ryester's self-blaming tone, Zephyr sighed helplessly, and then slammed Ryester on his back. Porosalino, these students will be handed over to you, take them back to the warship, I will go and wait for you first. Yes, teacher Zephyr. This battle also made him realize his lack of strength. He originally thought that the gap between himself and this new world pirate was half a caddy, but now it seems that the gap between them is still very large. His most powerful attack is not very effective for Kaido at all. So this time back to naval headquarters, he also plans to work hard for a while, and wait until he has enough strength to start fishing. After all, fishing without the strength has no guarantee for his own safety. Rist, what do you feel like doing? After arriving at the warship, Zephyr asked List. Not good, very bad, I didn't do anything. Do you really think so? Um, Lister, who was lying on Zephyr's back, nodded heavily but I feel that you have done a lot of things. Listen carefully, do you hear anything? Sound. At this time, Ryester was very tired, it was hard to have any energy to listen to the outside voices, but since the master had already said so, Ryester forced his energy to listen to the outside voices. Thank you, Marine. The sound of thanks came to Lister's ears, and I don't know why, Lister felt his heart warm. Then, there was a Nuonuo voice. Uncle Marine, Where's that handsome marine brother? Hearing this voice, Rist felt that the other party was not very old, he should be a five or six year old child. Suddenly, Ryester remembered the child who was held in the arms of a beautiful woman. If Ryester had guessed correctly, the owner of this voice should be the little girl. If it weren't for you, even if they didn't lose their lives at the hands of the pirates, they would never survive Kaido's hands. If this assessment led the team by other instructors, then this place has now become a hell on earth. So they can survive now because the person leading the team is you, and it can only be you. Quote. Hearing Zephyr's words, Ryester's regret finally disappeared. It turned out that he didn't do anything. He saved at least hundreds of lives. He, he should be asleep now. A student answered the little girl's words. Then how should I be able to see him in the future? When she said this, the little girl's tears rolled in her eyes, as if she couldn't wait to see her savior. Um, then you can join Marine in the future. If you join Marine, you will be able to meet that little brother. Well, 
First must join Marine. I saw that the tears in the little girl's eyes disappeared instantly, replaced by a firm look in her eyes. Seeing this look, the student's heart was a little moved. When he first decided to join Marine, he also had such a look, resolutely. Master Marine, please stay. Just as everyone was about to board and leave, a person suddenly stopped them. This person was the middle-aged man who had been rescued by Lister. Do you have anything else? Brawley asked suspiciously. I saw that the middle-aged man took out a knife and held it down in front of Blarley with both hands. This is, seeing this knife, Bulele asked suspiciously. Although he is not a swordsman, he can also feel the difference of this knife. It is definitely not an ordinary knife, at least better than their marine saber. To be hundreds of times stronger. This is the heirloom of our family. I hope you can personally hand this knife to my savior. Blaley understood in an instant, he hoped to give the knife to List. No, there are regulations in our marine that we can't collect people's things casually. I hope you will accept it. This is the only thing I can do for the savior. This, there was a hint of hesitation and entanglement on Blaley's expression. What happened? At this time, a strong voice rang in their ears. Blair looked back and found that Zephyr was already looking at him from the warship. Mr. Zephyr, this person wants to give the knife in his hand to wrist, but our marine policy is not to accept ordinary people's things. Hearing Blaley's explanation, Zephyr saw the knife in his eyes, and a little surprise flashed in his eyes. Then he noticed the man's sincere eyes. Well, I'll take this knife for Lister, and when he wakes up, I will give it to him personally. Thank you, Master Marine. On behalf of Big Brother, thank you. This is what Brawley said. No, no, this is what I should do. Afterwards, Bulele took his saber and left here on the warship, and the villagers on the island never left, watching the warship drifting away. This should be the legendary treasure of forces. Zephyr took the knife in his hand and looked at it carefully, then spoke. Ms. Zephyr, what is this knife? Hearing Zephyr say this, Lele asked suspiciously. If I'm not mistaken, this knife should be the function of one of the 21 jobs of the Great Knife. It turned out to be a 21st level knife with a big sharp knife. It's really rare. At this time, Pelusolino's voice also rang. He is also a swordsman, so he still knows about various famous swords. If it is a famous sword of this level, it is really qualified to be called a treasure. Brawley said in agreement, a knife that is better than this one is the supreme knife. However, there are only 12 knives of this level, and they are unforgettable existences. The big knives that have appeared are all in the hands of those who have been famous for a long time. For example, Kong Yunchi, one of the supreme knives, is in the hands of the world's strongest man, Whitebeard. As for the big sharp knives, there are not a few of them in the world so far. They didn't expect one to be here, which really surprised them. But this knife is a perfect match with Lister. Feng Yin is famous for its sharpness. There seems to be a strong wind in the body of this knife, the owner of the sharpness of the wind. And Golden Lion's swordsmanship is the kind of sharp and fast swordsmanship. Anything can split it in half with a single knife, and the cut is quite smooth. Ms. Zephyr. At this moment, Pelusolino walked up to Zephyr and said. What's wrong? Zephyr said faintly, he had always looked at Pelusolino uncomfortably. During the Marine Academy, he relied on his devil fruit ability to fish in troubled waters. Even when Kuzan and Sakazuki were in the academy, they both studied physical skills seriously. Only Pelusolino, except for occasional swordsmanship, does not practice other physical skills at all. Maybe he is the only senior general who does not know Marine Six styles. I hope Teacher Zephyr can guide me to practice for a while. Kazaru said respectfully. Oh. A hint of surprise flashed across Zephyr's face when Pelusolino said this. Is your brain resuscitated? It's just that this battle made me realize my shortcomings, so I want to improve my strength. Porosolino said seriously. Is Pelusolino strong? Very strong. His laser can shoot through even Whitebeard's body, if he only defends with armament hockey. But it didn't produce any obvious effect on Kaido. His attack fell on Kaido's body, just like a tickling. Therefore, his strength wants to go further, in addition to continuing to develop the fruit's ability, but also to strengthen his armament hockey. He was able to slowly develop the fruit ability by himself, and others could not give him specific help, 
but Armament Hockey could ask others for help, and the best candidate was Zephyr, the current Marine instructor and Marine Admiral. Known as the Black Arm, he has extremely high attainments in Armament Hockey. Well, although I don't like you very much, since you are my student, I will help you. Thank you, Teacher Zephyr. Facing this result, Pelusolino didn't have the slightest surprise, because he knew exactly what kind of person Zephyr was, with a knife mouth and a tofu heart. As long as he was sincere enough, Zephyr would definitely help him. After you go back, you can train with Lister, his hockey accomplishments are not below mine. Yes, Teacher Zephyr. When mentioning Lister, a strange color flashed across Pelusolino's face, and Lister's presence gave him a sense of crisis in his heart. His current strength is stronger than Lister but his limits are limited. It is estimated that Lister will completely surpass him in a short time, and the gap between the two of them will become farther and farther. When he saw Lister for the first time, he knew that Lister's future would definitely surpass him, but he didn't expect this time to be so fast. The report of this time has now fallen into the ears of Marshal Marine Kong. Sora was very satisfied with the performance of the Marine students this time, but the Kaido that appeared in the end made him very different, and what surprised him most was the strength displayed by Ryester. Unexpectedly, that kid is already so strong. After that kid has grown up thoroughly in two years, I can retire contentedly. But the kid named Kaido has grown to this point, even Pelusolino has no way to deal with him. Quote, Thinking of this, Sora had a headache. The kid he dismissed at the time, did not expect that now he has become a threat to their existence. When Ryester woke up, he had already arrived at naval headquarters, lying in the infirmary of the headquarters, covered with bandages. He clearly had no skin trauma, and he didn't know what these doctors thought, of. However, I still felt that his body was abnormally weak. The last stop made Ryester exhausted physically and mentally. Although he used to hate the smell of the hospital, he now feels at ease here. Lying on the bed, Rist also clenched his fist secretly. Although he failed in this battle with Kaido, he had already vowed in his heart that next time, he must defeat Kaido. This is the shame of his life, so he must Kaido's defeat must be used to repay it. After removing the bandage on his body, Lister walked out of the infirmary. Boy, are you awake? At this time, a doctor saw Lister's movements and said to him. Um, I really don't know how you did it, you let yourself off so badly. Some accidents happened. Ryester opened his mouth and replied that these ordinary people at the bottom would never know any information about Ryester. After all, it would be incredible if an 11-year-old boy was fighting against Kaido, the big pirate of New World. Except for the witnesses at the scene, as well as a small number of marine executives, no one knows about Ryester anymore. Although Marine also knew that they couldn't hide the news about Ryester for long, people with absolute talent like this would always show up. But before Lister has fully grown up, he must not be put in danger. He is Marine's secret weapon, a secret weapon used to resist the world government, and this is the same idea of all Marine executives. If the people of the world government knew that Marine executives had such horrible thoughts, they would definitely find a way to replace this group of people and find a group of obedient dogs to replace them. By the way, Zephyr Admiral said when you wake up, let you go find him. I see. After that, Ryester immediately expanded the scope of his observation hockey, and soon discovered that Ryester was in the training ground of the Marine Academy, and there were 40 strangers beside him. Soon, Ryester quickly came to Marine Academy. When the members of the Academy saw Ryester, they all gave him respectful glances. Although they didn't know what exactly happened to the elite students led by Lister when they went out for the assessment, they all heard some secrets from some of the returning students. It was Lister who fought with the big pirates of New World, but they still didn't. Falling wind. Rist didn't pay attention to the eyes of these students, and quickly came to the position of the elite class, and found that Zephyr was giving the students of this elite class a word. From today, you are the new elite class members, and your future training will be in charge of me and Ryester instructor. Yes, teacher Zephyr. Forty students from the elite class said loudly and powerfully, with a full tone of voice, full of hope and expectation for the future. At this time, Zephyr also noticed Lister's arrival, and then said to these students, You go to warm up and exercise first, run 10,000 meters first, and practice for those who fall behind. Yes, teacher Zephyr. Although these students have also noticed Ryester, 
because teacher Zephyr is here, they don't dare to cheer loudly at all, and can only hide their excitement in their hearts. Now Lister can be said to be the idol of the entire Marine students, and the appeal of the Marine Academy may not even match Zephyr. You kid, finally woke up. Zephyr walked up to Lister and said with satisfaction. Well, master, who are these people? They are members of the new elite class. After all, if a group of people graduate, a group of people will be on top again. This time you will be responsible for teaching 20 people. Hearing this, Rist's expression showed a hint of embarrassment. What's wrong, there is a problem. Master, I want to go to the front. I knew you would say something like this. Zephyr didn't feel the slightest surprise for Lister's words. But it is not the time yet. Although the front line needs your strong combat power, you are still needed here. The entire naval headquarters has no instructor with better teaching quality than yours. Even I already have some. Can't compare to you. If you leave now, Marine's future is worrying. Quote, of course, this is just Zephyr's rhetoric in order to keep Ryester. Although Lister is very important at Marine Academy, he hasn't reached the point where he can't do it if he leaves. Moreover, your current strength is not enough. You should know your own importance. Before you grow up, we will never expose you to the public's vision. They are not afraid of the powerful pirates. It's the people of the sinister world government. I understand, Master. Wrist's clenched fist loosened, as if he had accepted his fate. In the final analysis, his own strength was not enough. If his strength could reach Zephyr's level, he would at least have the right to move around freely now. List did not regret joining Marine, nor did he resent Marine's restraint on him, because he knew this was a kind of protection from Marine. But Ryester still had a trace of fear in his heart. He was afraid that in the future he would do something sorry for Marine, and would fail Marshal Sengoku, Sengoku Admiral and Master's expectations. So when Marine protects him like this, Ryester actually feels a little frightened in his heart. Okay, don't be frustrated, quickly adjust your face, and then participate in the honoring ceremony of those students tomorrow. This should be the last time I have met with them, and the chance of meeting them again in the future should be very slim. Will they not serve at naval headquarters? Hearing this question, Zephyr shook his head. The headquarters does not lack this strength now. The weaker ones will go to the branch offices in the world, and the stronger ones will stay in the Grand Line. That's it. Lister's tone was a bit lost. These students are the people in the department who have the deepest relationship with him. Now they are leaving. Of course, Lister's heart is very reluctant. Okay, don't be depressed, it's not a goodbye to life and death. Although Zephyr said so, but in the chaos of today's era, is it true that life and death are parting? Who knows? In the early morning of the next day, all the graduates had already gathered on the playground of the college. Since it was not a large-scale award ceremony, and there were no awards from important people, it was enough to just be in the square of the college. Elite students and ordinary students are all gathered together. At this time, here, they have no high or low, some are just strengths. Zephyr stood on the podium and gave an impassioned speech, while Lister was half a position behind Zephyr and listened silently. But what surprised Lister was that Marshal Sora was beside them. The arrival of Marshal Sora immediately agitated all the students present, because it could be said that it was the first time they met Marshal Marine, and it was inevitable that they would be excited. The next awarding ceremony was inherited by Zephyr, and powerful students like Rhodes and Brawley were directly the rank of captain. If they made some military merits, they might be major. As for the weaker ones, they are Lieutenant Junior Grade or Ensign. Those in the ordinary class are sergeant sergeants or corporals, and none of these people are in naval headquarters. Next, I will invite Marshal Marine, Master Kong to speak for you, everyone is warmly welcome. When Sora walked to the front, thunderous applause broke out at the scene. I have to say that this chicken blood was really good, whether it was three minutes or not, at least at this moment, these students are all have the confidence to be a good Marine. The words of Marshal Sora were those, anyway, Wrist heard a little drowsy, but when Wrist thought that the empty words were about to end, his words instantly awakened Wrist. Next, I will personally confer the rank of Colonel Marine on Ryester, and concurrently serve as the Deputy Chief Instructor of the Marine Academy. All of Marshal Kong's words in front of Reister were in his left ear and out of his right ear, but these last words were deeply rooted in Ryester's mind, and for a while, he was a little stunned. No. He didn't expect that he would have his own business during this awarding ceremony. 
Hey, what are you doing in a daze? Don't go in front of the old man, thank you Marshall. Zephyr slapped the unmoved wrist directly, slapped him directly, and then hurriedly arrived in front of Marshall Sora. Student Marine, Ryester follows the order. Arrive. Wrist stood in a very standard military posture, waiting for Marshal Kong's next instructions. In view of Ryester's good grades and outstanding abilities during his stay at Marine Academy, he helped Zephyr Admiral several times to complete the teaching tasks of Marine Academy, and in the assessment of Marine students, he made military merits. Trevor Ryester served as Colonel Naval Headquarters. At Marine College, he is the Vice President Instructor. Yes, Marshal, Wrist said with a serious expression on his face. Here, he can't help but be rude. He didn't even think that his military rank would be as high as a colonel, but it was very likely that it had a lot to do with the strength he showed. The award ceremony ended soon. No one had any objection to Ryester's high rank. He even felt that this rank was a bit low and was not worthy of Ryester's current strength. But no way, who made Lister's age still young? At the moment when a cloak of justice that fits his height was draped on his body, Lester felt the responsibility of being a Marine for the first time, and the pressure he was under. Marine's future is up to you, Lister. Kong's heavy hand slapped on Ryester's shoulder, and Ryester immediately felt a heavy pressure. This pressure was not the weight of Kong's marshal's hand, but an invisible responsibility. I hope you can be the pillar of Marine's future. Yes, Marshal, Wrist said in a firm tone that this was the first time in his history that he had such a big sense of identification with Marine, thinking that Marine was his home. He had always regarded naval headquarters as a place for work, work and study, both a work unit and a school, and Zephyr's home was an arranged dormitory. But when he put on the Marine Justice cloak, Ryester's thoughts slowly changed silently. There is one more thing to hand to you. At this time, Sora said again, only to see Zephyr take out a knife and hand it to Lister. This knife is of the 21st skill level of the Big Sharp Knife, and its name is Fungyan. Thank you Marshal, Lister immediately said excitedly, he has been lacking a knife that suits his strength, and he never expected that naval headquarters would directly reward him. Don't be anxious to thank me, this is not something I gave you, but the person who was saved by you entrusted us to hand it over to you. You should have given this knife to you when you woke up. But I think it's just right to put it on this occasion today. Is it them? The figures of those people flashed in Ryester's mind. Although he couldn't know the specific appearance of those people, all the familiar aura reverberated in Ryester's mind. At this time, his heart was full of emotions. Marine was not an effort, and there was no return. In fact, the return was still great. I hope you can use this knife well in the future. After all, the people who were saved by you have hope for you. Yes, Marshal, the award ceremony ended in a bland way. Those students who have become official Marines have now boarded the warships to their respective branches. Before leaving, they bid farewell to Lister and Zephyr. Almost everyone shed tears. As the saying goes, men do not flick when they have tears, but in the scene at the time, they couldn't help it, even Zephyr's eye sockets were a little moist. But life still has to be on the right track. These graduated marines are not of much use to this era of great pirates. After all, there are not many marines with such abilities in a year, but there are endless pirates with various abilities. This time wrist is the same as last time, choosing 20 students to form a new elite class, but this time his requirements are more stringent than the previous one, and I don't know whether it is to urge them or to urge himself. It's worth mentioning that Pelusolino's vice admiral can often be seen inside the Marine Academy. The purpose is to enhance his hockey, but in everyone's eyes, he still uses the fruit ability, just get beaten blindly. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.